Welcome to the annual Canal Cup, born against Sandwich. And last year, Sandwich, led by Steve Karate, beat Ford by the score of 4-2. That was the fifth annual Canal Cup. Tonight, the sixth annual Canal Cup, Sandwich has a 4-1 lead. And Paul Giamenico is hoping that last year, what happened last year happens this year, but Bourne has different ideas. A.J. Dolan and me, Michael Quinn, back with Canal Cup action, Bourne and Sandwich, 1981. <laughs> Welcome to the Gallo Ice Arena for tonight's 1988 Canal Cup, Born Against Sandwich. Michael Gwynn along with A.J. Dolan here at Gallo. And A.J., this has turned out to be one of the best rivalries in Cape Cod and the Islands in any sport. It is the sixth year, Sandwich holding on to a 4-1 lead, but always it's an exciting game and it's a jam-packed house here at the Gallo Ice Arena. It didn't take long, Michael, for this game to take right off. The ingredients were built right in. Both of these teams skate at this rink. All the kids know each other. They see each other at practices. They see all their games. So there's a lot of things that are built in, perhaps into this hockey rivalry, that you wouldn't have in the other sports because the kids and the coaches get to know each other uh, very well during the course of their careers. You know, AJ, not only is the Gallo Ice Arena the home ice for both Sandwich and Bourne, but many of these players uh, grew up playing together in the Cape Cod Canal youth hockey system, which is Bourne, Sandwich, and Wareham. So They've played with each other for a number of years, so this is always a fun game. Yeah, true, Michael. The, the younger players especially, uh, the, the programs merged just a few years ago. The, the players that you're seeing now, uh, Karate, uh, Brady on the sandwich team, Duffy uh, from the Bourne team, those guys pretty much played in their own youth hockey systems. But a lot of the younger players that you'll be seeing tonight, especially from that sandwich side where they go with a young team, a lot of them do skate together, so that's a good point. They, that's another reason of why these players get to know each other very well. Now, for Sandwich this year, they are winners of the Canal Cup four out of the last five years, but this year they have a, an above and uh, below 500 record. They're 6-13 and 13 overall, 5-11 in the South Shore League, but they're led by their superstar and certainly one of the best players ever to come off Cape Cod, Steve Karate who's had a super year, 59 points so far this year. For Bourne High School, they are 12-4-1 of the year. They are going to the tournament, unlike Sandwich. And in the South Coast Conference, Bourne so far is in third place with 8-3-1. And, and the balloons are here, AJ. Good crowd on hand, approximately 1,000 to 1,100 fans. And to throw out the records, this is going to be one heck of a game. Yeah, it's a perfect setup to use the old cliches, Michael, but... This is, uh, if there was ever a case where you could use it, this is it. Because a couple of years ago, you might remember, Sandwich was having a miserable season in the South Shore League. They came in against the Bourne team that was the top of their conference. And that year, Bourne defeated Sandwich, and it's the only one they had in the Canal Cup, and it was a one to nothing win. And uh, there's no secrets about either of these teams. Everybody, the both teams know what it's going to take to beat uh, their opponent. For Sandwich, they have to tighten up on defense. They're the highest scoring team on the Cape, so what does that tell you? A lot of goals are being scored against them. Defensively, they have to tighten up, and they have to get a big game out of the net tonight from Jackie Harrington. When, in the case of Bourne, it's a different situation. They have a more balanced team. They, their team is a little deeper. They have a little bit more experience. And 1 through 15, they have a better team. But the question is, can they control karate? And the other thing that I think is going to be interesting here tonight, Michael, is if they spend too much time on karate, they have to watch out for another guy in the ice. The second leading scorer on the Cape is quietly having an excellent season. That, of course, is uh, Duke Brady, perhaps the, the best all-around defenseman on the Cape. I'm not sure if he's better than DeBarros or a few other guys defensively, but if you're looking for an all-around player, uh, Brady's your guy on defense. It's interesting, A.J., because Bourne definitely is going to be concentrating on Steve Karate, Duke Brady, but uh, the problem with Sandwich has not been the ability to score goals. They have been able to score goals. It's keeping that puck out of the net. And so far, they've given up 107 goals, with Bourne's only given up 56 goals. As we get out of the ice, here's coach Jim McBorrow, who's uh, under the weather a little bit, a little flu action for Jim. And a number of his players have the flu. I guess a number of players playing tonight, Bourne and Sandwich, are under the weather with the flu. Key players, too. Duffy and Stewart on that first line for Bourne. 
You talk about two guys. I think Stewart has quietly had perhaps the best season of any one player. There's guys with higher numbers, but I've seen a lot of his games either uh, with 58 or with WFAL, and I think Stewart's been one of the best players on this team. He can hit, he can score, he's very aggressive, and uh, he certainly, they need him at full strength in this game, but Sandwich has some guys that are under the weather, too, and it goes back to what we talked about in the open, Michael. It's probably because they share the same facilities. The bug just goes around quicker. I guess so, and Steve Karate that doesn't have the flu, but he's been injured uh, the last half of the year, and it's amazing. He scored uh, close to 60 points, and he's been injured as we watch the player introduction from the sandwich side first when you come into the season michael scoring over 150 points in your career as karate did you're going to attract attention and a lot of a lot of times it's unnecessary roughness but most of it is just the natural course of hockey karate has been uh taking his lumps this season whether it be dirty or not and uh, he's come through it all right. He, he sort of slowed down here a little bit in the second half of the season, but he's still having a great year. If he had uh, some of the help that he had on that team last year, he'd probably be up well over 85, 90 points this season. No doubt about it. Anytime you've seen Steve Karate, it's amazing because he is double team, triple team. He still comes up with two, three, four points a game as we see some of the players coming out. Steve Karate was not announced, and you're probably saying, gee, he's number 12, he is not there. He will be introduced as we see Rivora. And going on now with number 18, Chris Casey from Sandwich. A lot of young players on the Sandwich team, AJ. That young man just introduced Casey's gonna be a fine hockey player. He's young and he just uh, isn't physically strong yet, but he's going to be a good player for Sandwich in the years to come. And as we see some of these introductions still going on with Sandwich, A.J. Sandwich, a 6-13 year, but that could turn around tonight if they win this Canal Cup. Well, one of the ideas of the Canal Cup when Paul Giannomenico started it years ago, because uh, I remember him talking about this when the, the first year they had it, the idea is to give a team something to look forward to to the end of the season, and this is a perfect case right here. As we're winding down the introduction here, Sandwich, Seniors Andy being introduced uh, last year for both squads tonight. As you can see, only a small number of seniors, so a lot of these players are saying it will be back. Kyle Chaffee, a senior defenseman. Goalie Jack Harrington being introduced. They need a big game out of Harrington tonight, Michael. They, their goaltending's been off and on all season. If they're going to beat Bourne, they're going to have to have a good game out of Harrington. Kevin McLaughlin. Have to watch out for 12, him. Number 12, Steve Karate. We get introduced now. One of the greatest players ever to come out of Sandwich High School. And really one of the top high school players I've ever seen. Uh, he and Brian Brewer are the two best I've seen come off the Cape in the past five years. I'd say that's a pretty accurate assessment. I don't see anybody from the immediate horizon that's going to, that has the potential, at least out of the high school on the on Cape Cod to play Division I. There's a couple of goalies who do, but uh, players forward to defenseman, Pratt is the only one. I think the next one might be Quell at Barnstable. I like him. He's only a sophomore. Now we go to the Bourne Canalman in their white tonight. Now, Robbie Wilson, remember that name, just been introduced, only a freshman. He is going to be a great defenseman down the on the road. Pop has been coming on late in the season as well. He has some older brothers that played the game, and he, he plays just like them, and they're going to have to watch out for Hopper. Scott Bloomfield introduced. Jeff Bill Hingston. Underclassman. Number 16, Derek Kelsey. Michael, Michael, now. Michael Becker, this is that is uh, Brian Becker. Also now, number 34, Derek Severinsky. We'll have to get number one. We don't have that one in the program. Now we get the goaltenders. Number one, Jim Turner, who's a senior. Derek Deneen, the senior. Jeremy Mozaleski. Greg Pouchette. As you see, AJ, a lot of seniors on this board team. Number 12, Brian Stewart. AJ just mentioned he's having a fine year for board. Luke Gagner, 
number 15. Chucky King, number 18. John Sinelli, number 23. 22, David Stowe. Doug Berger, number 24. Number 30 is senior Chris Pereira. Co-captain's now goaltender who's going to have to have a big game for Bourne, Bob Maloney. He had a big game last in Cup. Two years in a row, Maloney has been a standout. I thought he should have got the MVP a couple of years ago when he shut out sandwich to, to Bourne's only Canal Cup victory, and he had a super game last year. He couldn't be faulted in, in that 4-2 loss. Mark Sivodinsky, co-captain. Jason Trapanier now, the last four co-caps, and finally, a guy who's been hurt at the beginning of the year, but a solid player, John Duffy. The most versatile player on the K, perhaps when he's healthy, Michael, he can play forward, he can play defense, and he can get you points no matter where he is. So, A.J., both teams now out in center ice. The crowd is coming in. We knew there'd be over 1,000, but 1,100 now in the Gallo Ice Arena. And everyone now is standing for our national anthem here in the Gallo Ice Arena, Canal Cup, 1988. there, Michael, by Sarah Nice from Karen Garino, students at Sandwich High School. By the way, those young ladies are going to be singing the national anthem before a Celtics-Detroit Pistons game uh, later in the spring. Somebody better tell them to keep away from Rick Mahorn, though. <laughs> or Bill Lambeer. So the introductions have been made. And we also have now that fine rendition of our national anthem. Let's take a quick break now. We'll come back with the opening face-off. Canal Cup 1988, Born Sandwich on TV 58. again the opening face-off canal cup 88 born sandwich and run away the sixth canal cup born in the white jerseys sandwich in the blue jerseys back behind the net in that for sandwich jack harrington the senior here comes Earl back for sandwich try to hit brady broken up steve karate back into the sandwich zone and and off sides Karate, as we mentioned before, AJ, he needs eight points tonight to tie Brian Pereira. He's going to have well. to come up with a He's a great player, but eight points in the Canal Cup, uh, that, that record might stand forever if I he think, does that. I think we could be pushing our luck if uh, he's hoping to do that. <laughs> but you never know, he's capable of getting eight points. Absolutely. Brady now moves the puck over to Lichardi. Back to Karate. Earl now for Sandwich. Back into the Bourne zone. Bourne back out to center to Stewart. Stewart dumps it into the sandwich zone. Back for Duke Brady. Brady around the boards. Up ahead of Karate on the move. Karate through center eye. Shot. Blocked behind Maloney. Trapanyane up to Stewart. Earl on him. Trapanyane now for Bourne. And Bourne starts back. Here's Stewart. Couldn't collect that. Lachardi now for Sandwich. Up to Steve Karate, makes the move up ahead of Earl. John Earl into the zone by Trapania. He's shot, glove by Maloney. Back out to Stewart. Stewart over to Sivodinsky. Sivodinsky 
Savinsky at the face-off circle. Well over Jack Harrington. Back to the point. Well wide. Back to Trapani. And that's stopped. Here comes Dowd now. Dowd. Wilson gets back to cover up. Here's Karate. Karate wheeling and dealing at center ice. Fires it and he'll see a lot of ice time tonight. And that's an icing. 13 21 left, no score, first quarter. First much period. Much needed whistle there, Michael, as both teams had their first units on there for a long time. I should mention that I think this is going to be a game that's going to be won with the special teams tonight, Michael. Sandwich power play has been clicking lately. Bourne's been scoring an awful lot of goals. Whichever, whatever team gets in the most penalty trouble is probably going to lose this game. We get back to action now. Sandwich ties it up. Casey in this to her. And then a little bang going on. Looks like Kelsey's in there. It's not really a physical game, H.A. Uh, some it will be. See, but it's not, it's, not, it's not really a dirty. The ones that I've seen have never been dirty contests. No. Hard hitting, but not dirty. There really isn't any animosity in this rivalry, Michael. They want to beat each other, but it's, it's they, a good, clean rivalry. They get to see each other in the locker room the next day. <laughs> they, they both practice down at the Gallo Ice Arena. Both teams have this arena as their home ice. It's to her and Hopwood on the face up. Hopwood backs off. Kept in by Bourne, Stowe fires into the corner. The block from there. Behind Harrington, scoops it around to the back to the point. Kept in by Bourne, out front. Casey fires into the corner. Behind Harrington, back is King. Harrington can't tie it up, out front. Net off the hinges, we have a faceoff. One of the problems the Sandwich has had this year is getting the puck and working it out of their own zone. They work on a number of different breakouts during the course of the season. The defensemen cannot waste any time. They have to get the puck up around the boards when they have somebody open. I notice the, the wingers are hanging in a little bit deeper in the, in the defensive zone to try to help out. But when they get the guy open, they have to move the puck right to him. Or keeping the puck down into the sandwich end, but here comes to her back. Broken up, fired back in by King. Right on Harrington, let Charty now for Sandwich. Charty out front, hits to her. But Charty again will try to start it out. Broken up, Casey can't handle it. King with some good checking. It's to her with a trip, don't call on that. Oh yes there is, they caught him, H.A. We have our first power play, Ford will go in the power play. Eric's to her. Tripping. This is one thing as I started to mention a couple of minutes ago that Sandwich and, and Bourne actually is going to have to stay out of penalty trouble as well. Sandwich has really lost a lot of their games this year because of penalty trouble. In the South Shore League, you can't get a lot of penalties because the teams up there are just too explosive and uh, got a lot of offense. Bourne has a lot of offense, but Sandwich power play is a, quite a power play too. They can uh, connect with the Bruins. She can now to watch them practice, I think. Oh. Karate breaks that up nicely. And it's clear to center ice to John Duffy. Fires it back in behind Jack Harrington. Lacharty, the senior, fires it around. Trapania back at the point. Into Sivodinsky. And it is in. Tipped in a goal by Brian Stewart. They moved the puck really nice on that power play. They found the open man and moved the puck right along to get that goal setting up right in the crease on that one. Faked the shot and went with the pass. It was the right play to make. Brian Stewart, the goal. Derek Deneen and Mark Severinsky. Well, and you was, mentioned Stewart earlier. Yeah, I'll, I'll tell you, I think he's... You talk to a lot of different people in Bourne, and they'll mention a couple of different names as to who they think has been playing well, but I like Stewart. I think he's having a great season. Severinsky and Deneen, the assists. one nothing. 12-05 of the first period. Bourne breaks on top. And most times, AJ, I think the team that's broken on top in a canal cup usually ends up winning. Earl up ahead of Karate. Karate now one on two. Trying to make the move. Shoots. Kicked away by Maloney. Stewart with the puck. Karate there, though. He keeps it in. Karate over to Chafee. Chafee back to center ice. Here's Dowd. Dowd for sandwich. Fires it in behind Maloney. Wilson, the freshman, back. Up ahead of Sivodinsky. Here comes Sivodinsky and Stewart. Stewart now working on McLaughlin. Has Sivodinsky. Sivodinsky! 
Let's see if there's a goal. No goal, but no we have goal. another trip, A.G., another power play for Bourne. Chafee the trip. The Bourne forwards are flying tonight so far. And the sandwich defense just cannot control them at this point of the game. Let's look at the play again here on replay. Nice dish off as Stewart crosses over the line here. Right there, you see the defenseman dropping off. He should have come up to play him right there. That's Kevin McLaughlin, and he got the backhanded pass in. Chafee tried to catch up to him and uh, tripped him up. That's definitely a penalty. So this power play for Bourne, one for one so far. And they'll try to this, make it two for two. This is a big kill here for Sandwich. I'll tell you though, Michael, Stephen Karate looks for the offense when he's shorthanded. I saw him in a game last week get a goal when they were shorthanded. He got it back to a defenseman and they shot it up the boards and he beat everybody to it. That's a good point, H. Jake. Whenever Karate is on the ice, doesn't matter how many sandwich players, are, I mean, he's an offensive threat all the time. Here's Earl doing some good for checking on Duffy. Broken up by Karate. Steve Karate wheeling and dealing. Staying in the zone, looking for some offense. He's hit by Stowe. Karate with the puck back. Karate still. Here's Earl. Earl back into the corner to John Duffy. One minute left to go on the power play for Bourne. Across for Stowe. Broken up nicely. Offsides. So Sandwich doing a much better job, AJ, killing this power, killing his penalty than they did the first one. Karate wants, the, he wants some points. He wants this game. He, <laughs> no, no, I think he wants this game more than he wants points. He would give anything to be in the state tournament. He's not going to be there. And he wants to win this game more than anything. And it's ironic in, his, in the great career that he's had, Michael, he's never won a Canal Cup MVP, and I'm sure he'd like to do that. And it's interesting, too, that Steve Karate, a great player, this would be his second straight year not making it to the tournament, which is too bad. Such a great player. But into the corner now is Tahura doing some good penalty killing. Bourne coming back. 48 seconds left to go on their power play. Good job by Sahara. Doing a good job killing penalty. Here's Derek Tanine. Had Duffy ahead of him. And offside. Tanine saw Duffy a little. Tanine probably should have passed that up there, AJ. Jimmy McMorrow has been on the sick list the last couple of days. And I'll tell you, that's not going to make him feel much better. When you have the power play, the last thing you want to do is go offside. They've done it twice in this power play. But... You know, who are we to knock their power play? It's, they got them the only goal of the game so far, but uh, they do have to be more careful on those offsides, especially with the man advantage. 35 seconds left to go in the Bourne power play. They lead 1-0 here in the first period. Kept in by Wilson. Nice play by Robbie Wilson. Broken up, and here's Karate. No, back to Brady. Brady with a nice move. Stewart has it, and we're going to have a trip. looks like a trip on Sivalinski. Yeah, Sivalinski stuck his leg out. If Brady didn't fall down to the ice, but that's because Brady's a big boy. It's going to take more than a leg. But Sivalinski did stick his leg out, and it upended him. So technically, he didn't fall to the ice, but it was still a leg trip. So there's 22 seconds left to go on the power play for boards. And both teams will be at even strength for 22 seconds. Sandwich will go on the power play for one minute and eight seconds. And we'll see that power play of Sandwich, which has scored a lot of goals this year in the South Shore League. Paul Ginomenico spends a lot of time in his practices on that power play, Michael, and they've lived and died by it over the years. Here's Earl. Nice to Karate. Karate moving down. Karate couldn't get around. Porsche out front. No one there. Here's Wilson now for Bourne. Wilson. It's Berger up ahead. Berger now into the corner for Bourne. Duke Brady slams to the boards. Berger behind the night. McLaughlin for Sandwich. Back to Brady. And Sandwich has the power play. Over to Karate. Karate a one on two. No one back for Sandwich. Karate wheeling, dealing, shoots. Glove by Maloney. I have to believe that was a mistake, Michael, coming out of the Sandwich zone. Karate was wide open at his own blue line. And I'm sure Jimmy McMorrow told the kids before the game, they're not going to put three guys on him because that'll open up everything else on the ice. But at the same time, you don't want to leave Stephen Karate wide open at the at his own blue line with not a guy to be found for 25 feet. Back into the zone and get the shot off. And he got the face off to the left of goaltender Bob Maloney. Earl on the face off. Back to Karate. Karate holding. Karate. Broken up and blocked. And a good defensive play by Stowe. Here comes McLaughlin back into the Bourne zone. Back for the Charlie. Couldn't hold it in. Sandra have to start it up again. 40 seconds left to go on the power play. Duke Brady now. Duke from the point. Kicked away by Maloney. Champagne now. Open ice. Fires it out and down into the sandwich end. 25 seconds left to go. Mental breakdown by Sandwich. 
on that, Michael. The Bourne had the puck in their own zone. Sandwich has a power play here, and they allow the Bourne defense to just stand there with the puck. You got to get at least two men into forecheck, and especially when you get the man up, you, you can't allow the, the opponent to <laughs> have a free choice of where to clear the puck. Is and that a was a, a mental mistake right there, too. The high stick bringing the face off down into their own zone with the power play. A lot of little mental mistakes Sandwich is making here in the early going, and they have to put an end to that if they want to defeat Bourne. Brady kicks ahead to Lachardi. Lachardi broken up by Deneen. Deneen down the slot. He shots kicked away by Harrington. Earl behind and net to Brady. 15 seconds left to go on the power play. Here's Karate now. Karate with some skating room. 10 seconds on the power play. Around Stewart. Karate into the zone. Karate broke it up nicely. Stewart into the corner. Back to the point, though. McLaughlin over to Brady. Brady with a shot. Tip just wide by Karate. Lachardi as both teams are back in full strength. Karate in the slot. He shoots right at Maloney. Karate is broken up by Stewart. And here comes Bourne back. Up ahead of Severinsky. Severinsky. Out front. Stewart couldn't kick it in. He ended up in the net. Not the puck that we have a face off. It's about the fourth time that's happened this period where somebody's ended up in that net to knock it loose. Well, what Actually, a good opportunities for Bourne there. Karate with two good chances, but right at Maloney. One thing I've noticed that Karate has done to get himself open so far in this game, you notice he plays the deep slot. A lot of kids in high school have a tendency to crowd in on that net. He's dropping out deep, and that pass from Lachardi came out of the corner. Karate's all by himself deep in the slot, and it's a mental thing because defensemen tell themselves to stay in front of the net, but they don't come way out into the slot usually. And Karate was wide open for that scoring opportunity. He'll probably try to set himself up from there because he knows he can put the puck in the net from that spot of the ice. Definitely from that spot, he's a sharp shooter. And back a shot on Harrington behind the net. Here's Severinsky out front, board all over it, and covering up as Harrington as Bloomfield is right on his doorstep. Some good chances for Bourne in this period, but still, Bourne only leads 1-0 with 8-10 left to go first period. Some good chances because the sandwich defense was Getting a little bit sloppy and lazy back there. They have to do a better job of covering the men in front of their net than that. Stahur and Bloomfield on the draw. Duffy working his way into the slot now. Sivalinski back to Duffy. Duffy, a wrist shot well wide. Back to Trapanje. His shot out front. No one there. Good shot to tip. Stahur tries to kick it out. Casey out there now for sandwich into the corner. Sivalinski. Chafee bangs him around that sandwich net. A lot of action there so far this period. Here's Tahura. Blocked by Bloomfield. And here comes Sandwich back. McLaughlin, no one there. But Casey is there into the zone. Casey wheeling and dealing back into John Duffy. Here comes Bourne back. Duffy. Out now to Severinsky. Derek Severinsky ahead to Berger. Berger in the corner. Blocked by Chafee. Good defensive play by Chafee. Here comes Sandwich back. Chafee does clear, but broken up by King. Chucky King back into the sandwich zone as Bourne changes up. King behind the net. King still with a puck. Broken up by Chafee. King and Chafee bang, and we have a whistle and a faceoff just to the left of goaltender Jack Harrington with 7.03 left to go. First period. It's been a good first period, too. Good crowd on hand. Hopwood will take the draw against Karate. Good crowd, as we said, about 1,100 and 1,200 here. At the game, Karate tripped up, no call. Here comes Earl, broken up by Wilson, Stowe for Bourne. Center ice pops it in, nope, broken up by Karate. Karate now with some skating room. Deep karate through center eyes with a nice little shot. Glove save by Maloney holds on. And you have to think, AJ, anytime karate's in the ice, the goaltenders, without maybe just naturally, they want to tie it up and get a face off. You saw where karate took that shot from. You saw the goalie tie it up. Did you see who was the first one in on that puck? Karate. That's why I think they, they were instructed maybe to tie it up whenever he's out there. Back to the point. In now. Out front, Dow couldn't handle it. Here's Karate now. Back, broken up by Hopwood, who clears it back to center eyes. Earl over Lachardi. Lachardi over to Dowd. 
Back into the zone. And here comes Bourne back. They clear it out. Earl clips it in. Karate there. Coming back is Bourne. Earl now along the boards. Stowe. Back to Lichardi. Broken up. Here's Dow for Sandwich. Dow with a nice move. Over to Earl. Karate didn't see the puck. Severinsky back. Here's Karate now. Karate with a nice move. He might be in all alone. Steve Karate. Buck it up by Maloney. Back to the point. Lachardi scales it around. And best chance of the night for Steve Karate. Maloney and number 11, Craig Bourget, made the play. Karate elected to go left on that break in, Michael. Coming in on his off wing side. Good job by the Bourne defense, forcing him wide. He's not an easy guy to take off the puck. And that's a new line that they've just really been playing with the last couple of weeks. Tommy Dowd just got back into the program a couple of weeks ago after uh, some disciplinary uh, reasons he wasn't playing. That's a really a new line. It's to hers. Line out there now for Sandwich against Deneen. McLaughlin fires it in by John Duffy. 5.45 left to go. It's behind the net. No whistle. Here's Stewart. Up to Severinsky. We have a whistle. The nest is lodged down on the Bourne end with 5.40 left to go. one nothing in favor of Bourne. That's been happening a lot, uh, sometimes conveniently and sometimes not so conveniently. I think Provincetown High School will always look back to that goal in the game that you and Ron Braggett did. That net, that, that was the difference between them qualifying for the tournament or not. Well, they shouldn't have blown a five-goal lead with five <laughs> minutes to go in the game. Yeah, I don't so think the net had the anything to do You can blame the net and the refs, but <laughs> enough is enough. Here's Bourne back now. Stewart with the only goal of the game. Good check by McLaughlin. Out front, Sivodinsky going with Casey. Here comes Chafee back up to Zahir. Here's Chafee now. Held Chafee. Around Trapandia, Chafee. Chafee shot of Maloney. It's slows. Casey couldn't shove it in. It's tied up. Casey on the doorstep. Maloney has been penalty coming up on Bourne. Sivodinsky took a shot at Chafee after the whistle. They had pushed Chafee out of the crease, and Sivalinski came along and gave him an extra shot for good measure. I think but Jim, Jim McMorris' temperature just went up. <laughs> <laughs> From 100 to 102. Here's a look at it again here, Michael, on the replay. Watch Chafee. He's a defenseman. He does a good job getting the puck up ice here. Gets the shot in. Maloney doesn't know where it is. Got Casey coming in for the rebound. Now watch the shot here that Chafee's going to take right here. Coming up, there's one bump. And he, well, we didn't see it, but at the end of that, Sivalinski came in and gave him a shot. Chafee, of course, uh, is used to getting hit in the chest and head soccer. with instruments. He was a goalie on the Sandwich <laughs> soccer team. So Sandwich goes on their second power play with 5.17 left to go in the first period. They trail 1-0. Bloomfield and it's cleared back down to Jack Harrington by Craig Forget. McLaughlin now fires it in. No one there. Karate has some open ice now. Dave Karate. Lines up in his own zone. Here's Karate through center ice. Karate still moving. Karate still holding. Karate behind the net. Karate back to McLaughlin. Into Karate. Try to fire it back to Brady. Brady does keep it in. Brady holding. Over to McLaughlin. McLaughlin into Karate. Pourget there. Scales it around and into the fans. And we have a face-off inside the we're in zone, but still 52 seconds left to go. I can hear Paul Giaminico down below us. He's not too happy, H.A. Well, when you have the power play, Michael, and you have men that are open and you can't get the puck onto their stick without anybody pressuring you, it tends to make a coach crazy. <laughs> well said. 4.38 left to go in the period. 52 seconds left to go on the sandwich power play. They're second of the period. Dowd, Lachardi, Karate, Brady, and McLaughlin out for sandwich on this power play. Out front, cleared away by Jason Trapagne. Here's Trapagne down through center eyes. Fires it on Harrington, he'll hold on. Good job by Trapagne. That's a good play, Michael. You get the face off inside of the sandwich zone. You're shorthanded with 43 seconds to go. Now they get a face off in the sandwich zone and they win it, they get a scoring opportunity. And Duffy can wing it from the point. He's gotten some awfully big goals in these Canal Cup games over the years. He got the only goal in Bourne's only Canal Cup win. And he got a couple of goals last year. Well, this has been his game. Back into the corner of the Dowd. Deneen on him. Derek Deneen doing a good job penalty killing. Dowd comes away with it, though. 35 seconds left to go. In the power play, looking for Karate. Dowd, though, fires it in. Behind Maloney. 
Maloney fires it back, and Brady will hold this one in. Brady flips it in around the boards. Dow behind the net. Dow some good play out front of Karate. He shoots. Blocked. Oh, good opportunity by Dow. And Trapania, that's Stewart, clearing it out to center ice with nine seconds left to go. McLaughlin now. McLaughlin. Hey, heavy hit from Trapania. Here's Brady. Brady takes a hit from Seward and Duffy fires it down, and that does it for the Sandwich power play. There's that was icing, but a great job by Bohr in the last 50 seconds of that power play. There's Paul Germanico on the bench. He's had two power plays, and he knows that that's how Sandwich is going to win the game. He practices and practices that power play. They're 0 for 2 so far in it tonight, and it doesn't please him. On the other side, you see assistant coach Steve Flanders. 3.42 left to go in the period. 1-0 in favor of Bourne in this 1988 Canal Cup. Robbie Wilson now for Bourne. Up ahead to Chucky King. Cleared ahead, but here's Hopwood in a foot race with McLaughlin. McLaughlin will win that behind goaltender Harrington. Here comes Sandwich back. John Besh out now for Sandwich, number 24. McLaughlin, Stowe now. Stowe, Stoher battling in there. McLaughlin couldn't find it. Back out to Chafee. Chafee couldn't hit Casey. Here's Wilson. Wilson out now to Hopwood. Hopwood, no one there though. One on four, two on four. Shot. Harrington came right out front. He didn't hold on. It's still behind the net. Out front. Hopwood with a backhander. Hopwood again. And the net came off the post. Sandwich with a good opportunity. I think we have a penalty, AJ. I, I think we're going to have matching penalties. I believe they got sandwiched for the initial penalty. One was going to have the power play. And they came in and took a run into Harrington and flattened him. Now, it'll be interesting to see what the call is, Michael. It could be a double minor on Bourne. I think it's going to be a McLaughlin for Sandwich. Yeah, McLaughlin would get the initial penalty for interference. It was the proper call, and so wasn't the, the penalty against Bourne. So we'll be matching penalties. The third penalty by Bourne, third by Sandwich in this first period. Harry's been seeing a lot of activity in his crease, isn't he? That net is seeing a lot of activity, too. Karate out there now for Sandwich. And centering the Bourne line will be Derek Deneen. Four on four. 2.59 left to go in the first period. Some skating rooms for players like Karate, Duffy, Sivalinski. Duffy into the corner, Sivalinski in the charty. Sivalinski has an assist so far behind the net. Brady battling. Karate in there to help, and here comes Karate back. Karate, his rule on the right. Karate through center. Here's Karate. Karate, nice center on Trapania. Karate around. Delaney scores! Oh, my goodness, what a goal. So you want to why, you want to why he, the kid has 227 points in his career? 228 now. I stand corrected. <laughs> here comes the tennis balls. It's like we're back in Falmouth. Well, I'd like to Here's think the goal, AJ. Here he is, just watch him go, folks. We don't need to explain a single thing. He's got Earl coming down on the left side. The Bourne defense is at the blue line, but Karate will do that to a lot of players. Bourne played it correctly. Look at the way he cut in on that offside and just put the wrist shot right by him. I don't think there are too many players on the Cape that could have made that play. I would say there's very few on the Cape that could make that play. An end-to-end -end goal it was not a power play goal. A four-on-four -four situation has tied this game at one with 2.43 left to go. You know, Stephen Karate's had a lot of goals like that this season, but he is really a playmaking center, Michael. He is a, he's a good goal scorer, but his strength is creating offense for other players. If he had some other guys that were equal to his talent, like we said on the outset of the game, he'd have a good 20, 30 points more. The strength of his game, as it will be as he goes into college, will be his playmaking skills. And he can uh, make the plays and make the goals. He showed us right there in end-to-end. -end. He picked up that puck behind his net, went end-to-end -end and tied this one at one. His last game as a Sandwich High School varsity hockey player. Of course, he'll be there in baseball, but be a fitting way to him to go out to have a couple of goals tonight. I'm sure the thing that Jim McMorrow was saying to a couple of his players is that as soon as you see Karate with the puck, get on him in the defensive zone because if you don't catch him and he's coming out of his own zone with the puck, say goodbye because you won't get him. And they didn't get him then, A.J. 
But, you know, give some credit to the Bourne defense as well. You saw them all stacked up at the blue line. They played, they made the correct play. They came up correctly, played them at the blue line, forced them wide, but you could see that angle he took in on that goal. It's just a straight degree coming in on Maloney. There's nothing you can do about that. Tough angle, but Karate is tight. Whoa, way up here by us, AJ. Watch out, you might have had a free puck there. Back to Brady. Brady with a nice move. Karate can't keep it, and Earl does. We have an offsides with 2.31 left to go in the first period. We're tied at one in this Canal Cup born and Sandwich. You just got a little peek at uh, Duke Brady, the defenseman for Sandwich. He's got some nice moves. He's a big guy. And he can create the offense for Sandwich, and he loves to do it. He likes to bring the puck up ice. I'll tell you, AJ, this year I have seen more highlight film type goals from Duke Brady than anyone else. I mean, he <laughs> he has had some great ones. Here's to Dean now, wheeling and dealing in his own zone, out to Stewart. Stewart with the goal for Bourne. Stewart with a nice move through center. Brian Stewart now with a move. Stewart into the zone. Out front, Dean couldn't collect. Here's Karate back. Karate with a one on two. Brought against Wilson and for Jane. Just why Karate will keep it in, though. Well, back to the point, and he doesn't, and a change in sandwich, but Dowd comes back to pick that up. Back to Karate. Karate up ahead. Brady with the puck. Brady couldn't get around Wilson. Wilson and Brady back to Stewart now. Stewart up ahead. No one there. Lachardi fires it back into Brady. We got an offside with 147 left to go. First period, we're tied at one. You saw Brady going for the offense up there, Mike. He'll do that all the time. He's like a big freight train. It takes him a little while to get chugging, but once he does, you can't stop him. And good hands to a good stick handler as he gets moving. Bourne had the advantage early in this game, but Sandwich is sort of has taken uh, the momentum away towards the end of this first period. 16 seconds left on the 4-4 four four situation. Banging around. Here's Bourne now. Trapania now, Trapania to the backhander behind Harrington, Duke Brady back, fires it on, but Stowe there, and we're back to full strength, now five on five, Brady with the puck, broken up nicely by Hopwood, and Stowe going for it, but Chafee with a good defensive play. Chafee clears it up, Casey on the move, Casey and King, two 18s into the corner, Casey, King wins that battle, Casey banged by Trepaner. Hop put out to Steve Karate. One minute left to go here in the first period. Karate with a nice move at center. Karate fires it in behind Bob Maloney. Duffy back. Up ahead for Stowe as Bourne comes back. McLaughlin now for Sandwich. 45 seconds left to go in the period. Up ahead to Dowd. Dowd fires it into the Bourne zone. 35 seconds left to go. Trapania around the boards, and we have a whistle. Once again, that net has a mind of its own. 35 seconds left. I'll tell you, Karate's logging some serious minutes here in this first period. But he knows it's his last game, and I'm sure that's a, you'll need more than a rope to get Karate off the ice tonight. It's amazing, AJ. He has 200. 28 career points. Is that more than you had at Sandwich High School? Uh, yeah, I might have had more penalty minutes, but... Uh. <laughs> Here's Karate again. And Wilson fires it out to center ice for Chafee. Chafee broken up nicely by Deneen. Derek Deneen now. Deneen wheeling and dealing. He's banged up, and here's Stewart. Broken up, though, by Casey. 20 seconds left to go. A whistle and a penalty, AJ. Is that uh, Chafee? I don't know. They he looked spent more the time in the box of it is Chafee than you did in uh, your high school career. Well, they did call Chafee for interference, and to be honest, I didn't see where it occurred. But the faceoff will be inside the sandwich zone here with 18 seconds. So, good advantage for Bourne, even if they don't score right now. Bourne has great opportunity to start the second period. Janine Sivilinski and Stewart out there for Bourne. John Duffy at the point and Jason. Trapagne, McLaughlin behind the net with 10 seconds left to go. Kept it nicely by Deneen. Deneen with a shot just wide of Harrington. Sivalinski now on the corner. Out front, broken up by Karate. Sivalinski tried to keep it in. Karate clears it down, and that should do it to end the first period. So it played one period of play here at the Galloway's Arena for this 1988 Canal Cup. The score.
Born one, sandwich one. We'll take a break. Come back with second period action. You're watching high school hockey on TV 58. Speed could save a life. No, I'll be there. <clears throat> yeah. You could learn a lot from a dummy. Buckle your safety belt. Back again at the Galloway's Arena. We're about to begin the second period with a score of 1-1, one, one, Sandwich Board. But let us show you right now how Sandwich tied it up in the first period. Steve Karate in and an H.A. This is as pretty a goal as Karate has scored in his six-year high school career. Give Karate, karate the credit, but look at the born defense. They're where they're supposed to be. Only Karate can make that play. Look how deep he is and the angle he has to come in at to get the shot on goal. Just a great play by a great player. That made it one, one to one. Now, Bourne earlier in the period scored an O'Brien Stewart goal from Mark Sivalinski and Derek Tanine. That gave the Bourne Canalman a one nothing lead. As we see the teams winding up their warm ups to start the second period at the Gatto Ice Arena. And as usual, an excellent game. And I would say the first half of the first period was all Bourne. Sandwich came on strong in the second half of the first period. I think we saw something in the first period that I talked about at the outset being a key. Uh, man advantage situations. Bourne has a power play goal already. Sandwich, while having the setup and the opportunities in the offensive zone on their power play, failed to convert. Bourne took two real dumb penalties that came from being overly aggressive uh, in that last period. That's the kind of stuff you have to stay away from, in a, especially in a big game like this. Most of Sandwich's penalties were from in front of a net. They were players tripped up coming in for opportunities. There are good penalties and there are bad penalties. Bourne took a lot of bad penalties in that last period. And that could hurt them because Sandwich is a fine power play, but Bourne could put the puck in the net of the power play, and we'll see what happens at the start of the second period because they'll be on the power play for one minute and 13 seconds to start this second half. You see the big crowd here, the Gallo Ice Arena. At the beginning of the game, AJ, there were a couple of empty seats, but there's not many now. There were empty seats because they were standing in line outside. They just can't get them in the building as quick as they'd like to. But it's a great setup to watch a game, Michael. They get the fans all above here, and there isn't a bad seat in the house. And this Canal Cup, as we mentioned in our pregame, this is the sixth year of the Canal Cup. Sandwich won the first three. Then Bourne came back with a one nothing win last year in game number five in 1987. It was Sandwich with a 4-2 win overborn and it's interesting AJ most times the Canal Cup many times I should say uh, one team has to win to keep their playoff hopes alive this year Bourne is in the playoff sandwich has been eliminated from the tournament so it's just a battle of town sandwich against Bourne that's a good point Michael uh, that first period was an even period if we can look at the stats from that first period the shots on net were exactly the same the goal scored were the same the only real difference in that last period was the fact that Bourne scored a power play goal. They converted on one out of their three power play opportunities. Sandwich had a couple of power play opportunities themselves, but at 0 and 2, they failed to convert. And there's a look at those stats. Shots, 11-11 apiece. 0 for 2 for Sandwich on the power play. 1 for 3 for Bourne, and the score is even. And that indicates the game to this point. And Bourne is 1 for 3. We'll have a little asterisk by that because Bourne's third power play is continuing into the second period as they have one minute and 13 seconds left to go on their power play and they scored on a power play goal and their unit was working well there with Stewart Denise Sibilinski and they're out there for Bourne now to start this power play John Duffy and Jason Trepanier on the point Chafee has to be careful he's serving this penalty he's already in penalty trouble and the second period is just beginning Crotty and Deneen on the faceoff. 15 minute periods. 1-1 one, one is our score. Sivodensky now. Back to Duffy is born. Starts their power play. Nicely up to Sivodensky. Sivodensky with a shot. Saved by Harrington. Ties up Sivodensky with a stinger from the point. Faceoff will be to the right of goaltender Harrington. There is a minute two left on the Bourne power play. Keep an eye on John Duffy. I think he's the key in this power play. He's got a boomer of a shot back at the point. Here is Duffy now into Sivodinsky. Sivodinsky, and he snaps it over the head of Harrington. 
Trying to stiff, dip it in there is Stewart, but Karate comes away with it. Good opportunity for Derek Deneen. Karate out front, he's knocked off the puck. Here comes Sivodinsky now, wheeling and dealing behind the sandwich net. Mark Sivodinsky. Broken up by Karate. Duffy, though, keeps it in. Duffy into Sivodinsky. Sivodinsky back to Duffy. Utter to Pranier. Into Stewart. Brian Stewart. Back to Stewart. Stewart to the backhander. Sivodinsky the backhander. Seth Harrington. Back to Trapania. Jason Trapania into the corner. Karate on him. Lachardi now. Can't clear. Trapania with a nice play. Out front, Brady's there, and he clears. 12 seconds left to go. A.J. Bourne kept the power play in the sandwich end, but not many quality shots. Same problem the sandwich had when they had the power play in the first period. It looked good, but they didn't get anything. Here's Duffy winding up. Duffy into Severinsky. The power play is over for Bourne. Back to Duffy. Duffy shot block. Deneen with the puck. Out front to Stewart. Severinsky now to the backhand. It's Duffy. Stewart actually with a shot. He's hurt. Looks like it's going to be a penalty. Stewart now broken up by Brady, and Stewart was grasping his midsection, A.J. He might have got slashed. Let's see the call, but Bourne will go right back on that power play. Well, we mentioned that Bourne took some dumb penalties in the first period, and Sandwich just took one right there. Lachardi's going to get a minute and a half for slashing, and Sandwich just got through killing a penalty. The last thing you want to do is end up in the penalty box, but they have no choice of the matter right now. So Duffy and Trapanier will stay in the point. Warren will have a new front line out there. Centered by Jeff Hobwood. Steve Karate will do the power play, killing at center. McLaughlin, Chafee, and Brady. Be on there also, Karate. And he does clear. Back to John Duffy. Stowe now, Stowe fires it in. Blocked by McLaughlin, he cannot clear. Karate does clear. 1.15 left to go on the board, power play. It's their fourth power play of the game. They are one for three. Their first three, and here's Stowe now. Stowe, three on two. Stowe into the zone, over to KK, snaps it, blocked by Harrington. Dow now, couldn't collect. Karate behind the net. Karate can't fire it out, a backhander. Knocked away by Chafee, good save by Harrington. He's making all the big saves right now, Michael. He's made three or four here on this last power play. Trapani takes a hit from Dowd. Dowd down on his knees, covers the puck up, and there'll be a face-off. 41 seconds left to go on the board power play. Hopwood's going to get a penalty. He grabbed Chafee's stick and threw it. Get the, get the uh, I want to see the... Uh, Jim uh, McMorris temperature now. Get the thermometer out. Put it no, in you his don't. <laughs> no, you don't, because the mercury would go right through to the roof. <laughs> Whoa, Jeff Hoff with a little upset and top break for the Canalman. Well, you know, the emotions are running high in a game like this, and you don't want to make an excuse for players that take dumb penalties, but sometimes their actions get carried away just a little too too much. I think, AJ, they've been but watching some old tapes of you playing for Sandwich I, High School. I knew that was coming. <laughs> Bloomfield against to her. Both teams at full strength for the next 35 seconds. Then Sandwich go on the power play. Wilson kept it by Stahura. Stahura blocked by Wilson. Wilson tripped up, no call. Back to Brady. Brady can't keep it in. And here might be a breakaway. Bloomfield, but Karate races back, picks up the puck. Karate whacked by Berger. Here comes Brady back. Brady, Sahara with him. Brady with the shot. Kicked away by Maloney. We'll have a face-off just to his right. Well, Karate took the hit, but he got the playoff. Made the nice pass to Brady. Brady did a good job of getting it up ice, getting the shot on net. Brady's got a heavy shot from that blue line. You can't let him crank it up because he'll beat you. But boy, did Karate get leveled, and that's the way you got to play him. That was a good, clean hit on Karate. You have to... When you have a player like that on the ice, you have to let them know that you're not intimidated. Who says there's no football at Sandwich High School? Steve Karate looks like he's played a lot of football. He's taken a lot of hits this year, AJ. 12 seconds left to go. I wonder if he get into some of the power play. I wonder if he get into some of the practices with his uh, dad, who's an assistant coach over at Mass <laughs> Maritime on the football team. Uh, maybe Bob Karate practiced some plays at home. But, yeah, uh, you know, he's the it. offensive coordinator. Steve was a running back, I guess. Into the corner now. 
Five seconds left, and Sandwich going to the power play. McLaughlin keeps it in. Stewart, though, for Bourne. Stewart clears down into the Sandwich end, and Sandwich now will have the power play for 45 seconds. Game is tied at one karate. Sivodensky now breaks him up. Sivodensky back to Stewart. Stewart with a shot up the side of the net. You're an oof from the crowd on that one. Dowd, Sivodensky on him to karate. Karate now starting off. 25 seconds left to go. Karate now at his own blue line. Over to Brady. Brady at center. Sivodensky up on him. Behind Duffy into the corner behind Maloney. Dowd now. Dowd. Over to Sivodensky. Sivodensky does clear. Here's Duffy in the move. Into Sivodensky. Karate breaks him up. Here's Steve Karate now. Karate into the zone. He shoots. And Maloney with a glove save. Kept in by Brady. Brady around the net. No penalty. Brady and Sivodensky battling. The Charney with a right hander and a. Look like some all star wrestling here, AJ. I don't think we're going to have a penalty, or maybe we will. He's been watching Hulk Hogan and uh, Andre the Giant, I think. Well, That's a body slam I've ever seen one. Yeah, take down three points on that <laughs> one. Face off will be to the right of goaltender Maloney. And Sandwich has had some power play opportunities here. And I mentioned that this is where Sandwich usually thrives. They really work the power play in their practices. When you got guys like Karate, McLaughlin, and Brady on the power play, you should be able to put it into the net. And they haven't been able to set it up here uh, tonight on their power play. They're 0 for 3 so far. Could come back to haunt them, Mike. New line out for Sandwich now. Sullivan, McDonald, and Jones. As both teams are back at full strength. Kept in by McLaughlin. Bourget behind the net. Wilson there, though, first. Sivodinsky can't handle it. Here's Chafee. Chafee over to McLaughlin. Into the corner. Sullivan and Wilson. Sullivan. Wilson can't get the puck out. Sivodinsky, though, bothered by Jones. McDonald keeps it in. Takes a whack, but keeps it in. Out front, Chafee can't hold it in. Broken up now by Berger. Berger into the corner. McLaughlin back. Berger, oh, he slams McLaughlin into the board. Berger almost had a chance. Bet off the hinges. Whoa. Sivodinsky, a two-hander, gave Summon a whack down there. This is getting... Uh, up and down, kind of physical, AJ. Yeah, you might say that. Clear-cut interference on McLaughlin. He's down in the corner going for the puck. Now they're going to call a penalty. I believe it's going to be matching penalties. Or perhaps McLaughlin said something to the official as he skated by. I don't know. But there will be matching penalties. Berger's going to grab some bench, as is McLaughlin. 10 minutes and 18 seconds to go, and there's the cross-check. You also Lord. saw Sivodinsky, number 34. I thought it was head-hunting there. Well... I'll tell you, I've seen every single Canal Cup game, Michael. I haven't been an assistant with Paul for a number of years. And uh, we, you never really have any of the, the sticks high or the elbows high in past Canal Cup games. And th there's no reason why these guys should be carrying their sticks up around the, around the neck. As if they don't know there's enough problems with the game of hockey these days with everybody criticizing it. And they, they, here they are in front of probably a lot of school committee members and important people in town. And they're... They're, they're doing, making a lot of dumb penalties. That's right. Put High school bluntly. hockey's been under the microscope this year. And Deneen now. Both teams, a man down. Deneen and Karate back to Lachardi. Out front, and Earl does clear. Back to Trapanye. Over to Sivodinsky. Sivodinsky. Brady now with the puck in the corner. Kept in by Duffy. John Duffy. Over to Mark Sivodinsky. Sivodinsky. Bothered by Brady. Here comes Earl back. Earl, bothered by Duffy. Duffy with the puck out front, no one there. Brady goes down. Duffy in the corner. Brady, Duffy, Brady. We got a whistle and a faceoff. John Duffy's been out there, AJ, for a lot of this game, but he's been fairly silent. Well, one thing that he's they've done with John Duffy is they have him playing back an awful lot tonight, Mike. There he is. He's coming off the ice. Remember now, he hasn't. He's only been back a couple of weeks for Bourne. And he's also under the weather. He is the flu bug, so he has two things working against him. But there is one thing in his advantage, and that's he's playing in the Canal Cup for the final time. And uh, perhaps that will overshadow some of the other problems he might be suffering tonight. And he's always come up big in the Canal Cup. Here's Dowd. Dowd now wheeling and dealing. Both teams 
Down a man for the next 50 seconds. Dow with a shot, and he had that puck for a long time. Stone now hit by Dow. Karate hit by Hopwood, and looks like a what do they call that AJ anyway in uh, in rugby? What is that? A scrum or something like that? Is that what it is? That looked like one of those in. Throw the oh. puck in and have him kick it out. Oh, I don't play violent games like that. <laughs> Face off inside the Bourne zone, tied at one. Wolves for Bourne, Stewart for Sandwich Karate, both coming in the first period. Hopwood and Karate in the face off. And it's good job by Hopwood back into the Sandwich end. 30 seconds left in the four and four situation. Brady with some skating room, Brady down the middle. Brady with a big shot and a glove by Maloney. How it's a 242 from the blue line right there, Michael. He can rip him. He got it up a little high. He helped Maloney out. He saw it all the way and grabbed it. Maloney has an excellent glove. His glove is as good as any goaltender's on the Cape. His problem is he's not the most mobile goaltender in the world, but he's played well for this team this year. And as I mentioned at the beginning of the game, Maloney has had some awfully big games in the Canal Cup. Born 12-4-1 this year. Only has been a big part of that. Karate and Sivalinski in the draw now. 23 seconds left on the 4-4 four four situation. Karate wins it back to Brady. Brady holds on. Out front, broke it away, and here comes Bourne back. Here's Wilson. Wilson fires it in behind Harrington. 13 seconds left on the 4-4. Four out to Earl now, has Karate with him. Earl up to Karate, bothered by Sivodinsky. Earl now, Earl broken up. Karate in and have it outside. Earl just over the line. I'd be willing to bet my last George Bell baseball card that Karate hasn't been on the ice this game with a, at least in the, through the first half of the first period on with a full squad of players. He's either been killing penalties or it's either been four on four hockey. But uh, I don't know if that's to his advantage. If you have more guys on the ice, more open ice, the, the better for him, I think. Yeah, I think with 4-4, four and four, that would be uh, the best deal for him. And Stewart now blocked. Here's Tahura. Both teams now 5-on-5. Five five. Sivalinski and Wilson give a nice greeting to Tahura. Out front, a shot! Oh, my goodness, a great save. Wow, where did he come up with that? What Besh a with the golden opportunity. John Besh. Bob Maloney, I, I don't know how he picked that out of the year. Boy, if that didn't have a goal written all over it, what a play by Casey coming out from behind the net. He set up Besh out in front. How Besh didn't put that by Maloney, I'll never know. And I don't know if Maloney got a piece of that with his elbow or with the butt end of his stick, but he made the stop. Let's look at it again here from the corner. Watch Casey come behind the net. A nice pass out into the slot. There's the shot, and Maloney got a piece of it with his blocker. Jones out there now, and here comes Sivalinski back. Derek Sivalinski through center. Sivalinski pawed it up by Chapey, and McLaughlin rides the puck away. Sullivan now kept in by Jason Trapagne. Couldn't hit Sivalinski. Chafee now for Sandwich. McLaughlin broken up by Bloomfield and a whistle and a face of outside, a stick above the shoulder. Actually, I think it'll come inside the Sandwich zone. Oh, they are calling it down here. I thought McLaughlin was the one who had to stick up high, but uh, it's going to be against Bourne. This is one of the loudest games you can see, AJ. Either side coming up with their chance, go Sandwich, go Bourne. Throughout the whole game, is. I haven't heard the Michael Gwynn chair from the Sandwich side. They like you over there. Gee, they do. It's not because of you, AJ. I know that. <laughs> Out to Berger. Berger bumped by McLaughlin. Back to center. Here's Chafee now. A little under eight minutes left to go. Second period, still tied at one. Maloney leaves off for Trapagne. Broken up by McDonald. Here comes Bloomfield back. Chafee now for Sandwich. Chafee through center. Chafee fires it into the Bourne zone. Back is Jason Trapagne. Try to hit Berger. McLaughlin for the point. Blocked in front. Duffy with the puck. Out to Bloomfield, have a whistle, and hand pass, and a face-off inside the Bourne zone with 7.30 left, one-to-one. One. Paul Giudomenico, for the most part, has gone with two lines here tonight. He's used his third line occasionally. 
but the second and third line units have done a good job for sandwich here tonight you know nobody's fooling anyone everybody knows that karate and brady have to be on the ice if they're going to win the game but you need these other guys to chip in and pull their own weight when they're out on the ice and they've done a good job tonight because Bourne skates three full lines and they'll throw three lines at you all night long with six defensemen too so born should be rested going to the third period of most games because of that three-line system that coach Jim McMorrow uses up the center ice Brady broke it up here's Earl he's broken up nicely by Hopwood who's flying out there Hopwood takes a hit Brady comes back Brady and karate now up at a karate and Wilson with the hit he's gonna get an interference call possibly well that penalty occurred because the guy who was coming down on the play was karate they are so worried about stopping him and not letting him get going that Wilson came up to make the play before he got the puck if the, it's third if, penalty this period AJ it's uh, that sandwich power play is like a time bomb ready to uh, explode I'll tell you something else the pass wasn't exactly right on karate stick if it was Wilson might have got away with it if karate had touched the puck but uh, the errant pass there, and uh, Karate's the beneficiary because he was flattened, and now they have the power play. And Sandwich must get their power play going tonight. They've had a number of opportunities, and they haven't cashed in on it yet. Now, well, Paul Genomenico is discussing something with one of the officials. I don't know what the call is for. Oh, I think I know. He, they want to know why the whistle, why the faceoff is down inside the blue line. The referee is discussing that now with Coach Gian Domenico. For Bourne, they have Jeff Hopwood, Chucky King, John Duffy, and Craig Forget. The officials working tonight's game, Michael. They did this, these same two did the game last year. They're from off Cape, but they did such a good job. Both coaches wanted to bring them back. Gee, I don't you don't hear about that too often in <laughs> hockey, do you? <laughs> Not quite. It's probably because I wasn't on the bench complaining about them. I tell you, that Sandwich has never had a quieter best in bench than you left, AJ. <laughs> Karate now. And Sandwich has the one minute and 30 second penalty. McLaughlin down the middle. McLaughlin into the zone. Back to Dowd. Dowd, plenty of room. Dowd out front. And Karate couldn't tip that. Brady keeps it. He doesn't keep it in. Good play by King. Duke Brady now. Zone cleared. Brady into the zone. Good play by Chucky King again. Back to Lachardi. Lachardi broken up and 4J clears it down. 55 seconds left to go. In the Sandwich power play, 6.30 left to go. Second period, we're tied at one. Sandwich now, Dowd, or that's Dowd, yeah, into the zone and Karate, oh, Dowd breaks it up. Stewart with a nice play at the center. Brady with the puck. Brady overhead to Karate, broken up nicely by Duffy, back into the Sandwich zone. Sandwich with some sloppy passing here on the power play. They've just thrown the puck away two or three times here in the last minute. 25 seconds left to go. They haven't had a legitimate shot on net. Lachardi broken up by Duffy. Lachardi, though, keeps it in. Lachardi fires behind Maloney. And Bourne clears. Good job by the Bourne Canalman on this power play. 10 seconds left. Sivodinsky in there now. Sivodinsky hustling. Brady breaks him up and a whistle four seconds left whistle be to the left of ha right of Harrington and good job by Bourne AJ they'll bring the face off outside because they did have the power play Michael but while sandwich threw the puck away three or four times there on the power play let's give some credit to Bourne they've uh, been in the penalty box a lot tonight and they've kept sandwich from scoring any power play goals yes sandwich is throwing the puck away a lot of times but still you got to give Bourne the credit John Duffy now John Duffy with a nice move. Here's Duffy. Duffy with a shot. Just wide. And Duffy, A.J., is a time bomb ready to explode, I think. Here's to her. A back for Sandwich. Up ahead. Couldn't hit Casey. Duffy with a good play. Here's Mark Sivolinski. Both teams at full strength. Into the corners to her now. Stewart on him. Stewart ends to her. Watch out there, referee. <laughs> Derek Deneen. Casey broken up by Duffy. Duffy. Casey, though, broken up by Duffy. Another penalty, AJ. Let's see what this is going to be. Well, we've talked about dumb penalties tonight. Sandwich just got the latest one. Eric Stahora 
I believe I think is, it's going to be on Brian Stewart, AJ. Well, I'm shocked because I saw Harry give him a, a little nudge, but they got Stewart for the penalty. Must have been on the on the retaliation. Eric Stahora, of course, is the younger brother of Kurt Stahora, who a lot of people from Born and Sandwich remember having many fine years with Sandwich. He's out at Wisconsin, and he's seeing some spot time with a very good college hockey team, a Division One. Surprised that a lot of people wonder why he went out west instead of staying home in the east to play his college hockey. Although he's Wisconsin, a 10th-round draft pick of the Minnesota North Stars, by Wisconsin the way, too. Wisconsin with some of the wildest hockey fans anywhere. Well, they don't have any pro teams out there except for the Packers and the Brewers, so. So sandwich on the power play. Brady, broken up by Denis, kept in, though, by Brady. To Lacharty. Lacharty out front. Here's McLaughlin now. McLaughlin over to Brady. Brady with a shot. Blocked nicely. And firing away is Wilson. Super play by Robbie Wilson. Up front. Oh, that could have been tricky. Sivalinski down. Here's Karate now with one minute left to go on the sandwich power play. Steve Karate flying through center. Karate with a shot kicked away by Maloney. Dowd. Dowd. Deneen on him. Derek Deneen in Dowd. Karate comes back with it. Siv Bourget on him and kept in though by McLaughlin. And he does keep it in. No, nope, out. And we'll have a whistle. Well, there was a case of Stephen Karate trying to do a little too much himself. He had McLaughlin open on the point there when he had the puck along the boards. Instead of getting it back to him, he tried to set up the play himself. And he got caught and knocked off the puck. And I think that happens mainly out of some frustration over the course of the season. A lot of times he makes the play and they can't, they can't connect on it. So a lot of times a, a, the quality players, the good players, will try to do a little too much. Karate's still out there now as we have 35 seconds left to go on this sandwich power play. Moore doing a good job killing penalties this period. Berger keeps it in. McLaughlin bumped off by Bloomfield. Here's Brady back, though. Four on three now for Sandwich. Brady through center. Over to Lachardi. Lachardi had Karate in the slot and a whistle. Is that net? Is that net off the tinges here, AJ? We got a penalty. We got or a, what? Well, the faceoff is coming outside the blue net line. Is a mind of its own, maybe. Maybe somebody went through the crease. Well, I don't know uh, exactly why the faceoff's outside. The referee was pointing down in the direction of the net, so perhaps that's what the call was. We have 14 seconds left to go on the sandwich power play. Karate with one. Let more rush maybe in him in this power play. Here's Karate again, a shot. Good save by Maloney. Woo! What did I tell you about that kid's glove, Michael? Great glove. Nice split there. Karate going for the low side. And last year's Canal Cup, the sandwich players remember that Maloney, despite the fact that he has a great glove, they beat him a lot to that side. But you saw a good example. He grabbed that one. That was a tough stop. Maloney's been a key factor here in the second period because his team's been shorthanded for most of this period. Back to Chafee. Chafee with some open room. He shoots. Their club is here again, A.J. Maloney extols it out into center. <laughs> and I think he's been watching a little extol from Philadelphia face up back into the boring zone. But both teams now at full strength. So once again, I think one of the keys to this game is the power play. Uh, the shorthanded team for Bourne, they've been excellent. Well, we said that at the outset of the game. The key would be what team takes advantage of the power play opportunities. Bourne has done a good job of not allowing Sandwich to get any power play goals. You have a 1-1 game. If Bourne comes back to score, Sandwich then looks at themselves and says, we failed to take advantage of the power play opportunities, and that is why they might lose the game. Sandwich has had four power plays this period. Bourne only one, and... No scores this period. Maloney really gave that puck a whack clearing it out. I wonder if he's got a fungo bat down there. <laughs> we might have a penalty here, AJ. Bob Maloney gets a penalty for wow. that one. Uh, I don't know about that. I think I'll that could have been a legitimate hit. I mean, uh, if he clears that out, everyone would think what a great goaltender I, he is. I disagree with that call because unless it's, unless it's that deliberate rule, I'll have to admit, I'll have to check the book. If the goalie clears the puck out, sometimes it's an automatic penalty. It is an automatic penalty in the NHL. If it isn't in high school hockey, then I have a problem with that because I don't think he was really trying to clear that up into the stands. So Sandwich again on the power play and cleared out to center nicely by Hopwood. 
And so far, Sandwich, this is their fifth power play. They're 0 for 4 this period. The Nine. Bourne penalty killing unit has uh, really done a great job this period. And I know Paul Germanico, if we had a shot of him, he's probably pulling the hair out of his head right now because uh, we've said it three or four times tonight. They live and die by the power play, and they haven't connected yet. Dow takes a heavy hit by Trepena. Here's Duffy. Duffy with a possible break. Up to Stowe. Stowe. Duffy, the trailer. Duffy with a shot. It's up front, it's blocked, and Duffy and Bourne with a good opportunity there. 3.06 left to go, second period. Tied at one, one minute left to go on the sandwich power play. The Charty clears it in over Maloney. Behind the net. And cleared out and down by Trepanier. Beyond Harrington, Stowe on Brady. Brady makes a move, rids himself of Stowe, and here comes Sandwich back. 40 seconds left. Broken up by Jason Trepanier. Trepanier with a nice move. Here's Trepanier still going. And a penalty coming up on Sandwich. And Brady bangs into the boards with Hankston. McLaughlin and is going to get an elbowing penalty. That was on the play as, they, as Bourne came over the blue line. He came up to play the man, but he got his elbow a little bit high into the air. So the penalties just continue in this contest. And as we said, most of them have been pretty dumb penalties. So Bourne will go on the power play. After the next 29 seconds, the teams will play for a side. And Bourne, this will be the only their second power play of the period. And uh, I'll tell Once you. Once the 29 it, seconds runs up, of that's course. That's right. And Bourne looks sharp. That first power play time, they had that when they did score the goal with Stewart. Have to see what happens. Tadeen and Karate. Winning it is Chafee for Sandwich, and Chafee clears his own. Chafee broken up nicely by Tadeen. Tarek Tadeen now through center. Tadeen broken up by Chafee. Tadeen still with the puck. Tarek Tadeen with a hustling move there. Sivalinski broken up by Earl. Gets by Forger. Here's Wilson. Wilson fires it in behind Harrington. Up on the net. Oh, mistake right there. Into the corner, Karate battling, but here's Chafee away. Kyle Chafee rids himself to Sevalinski. And let's see what this call is going to be. H I I can't even imagine what this call is going to be. Well, let's see if we can get another look at it again on the replay. They call it penalty on Sandwich, but that was a mental mistake by goaltender Harrington there for Sandwich. Bourne had a shot from outside the blue line. The puck bounced up on back of the net. And instead of letting the puck sit there for a face-off, Harrington knocked it off the, of his own net in his own zone. You don't want to do that. Here's a look at the replay. Yeah, see there? He knocked the puck off right there. You can see the play that I was just talking about. The penalties will occur a little bit afterwards up here as we continue to, to watch as Chafee has the puck. Let's see. Well, you couldn't see it from behind. The penalty, you saw the player go down. That's Trepanier where it occurred. the point just wide as we get back to action. Duffy does keep it in. Duffy over to Trepania. Trepania into Stewart. Stewart in the corner, fired it around to Duffy. High off the board, but Karate is here. Karate broken up nicely by Duffy. Good play by John Duffy. Sivalinski now into Stewart. Two man advantage for Bourne. Back to Karate, fires it down. 25 seconds left of the two man advantage after that sandwich will be on the power play. Uh, Bourne will be for about 25 seconds, one man advantage. Here's Stewart. Stewart now, up ahead to Duffy. We have an offside. Oh, we have another penalty, AJ. Boy, he's your ledger getting full here under the penalties. Well, they're gonna be asking us for extra pens up here on the press box to use in the scorer's uh, box if this keeps up. Boy, is that a big break for Sandwich because they're two men down. There's a minute 13 to go here in the period. Bourne was really starting to exert some pressure there, but now it'll be four on three for the next 14 seconds, and then it'll be four on four for the remainder of the period. Penalty and Bourne, Jason Trepanier. 1.13 left to go in the second period. Bourne with the power play for the next 14 seconds. Bloomfield and Karateli battling. Bloomfield kicks it back to Wilson, fires it. Oh, just what a Harrington. That could have been trouble. Chafee now for Sandwich. 
Bumped off the play, Bloomfield now back to Duffy. Duffy back into Bloomfield. Bloomfield out to Wilson. Wilson in the slot, a shot just wide. Oh, Robbie Wilson, a good chance. Brady clears it out. Both teams now are at full strength. This should be an icicle. No, waved off. Chaffee and Wilson. Wilson back, four on four. Couldn't hit Berger. No icing on this play. Harrington leaves it. Berger battle, here's Bloomfield. Bloomfield with a hit from Brady. 25 seconds left to go. And Sandwich now will go on the power play for the last 23 seconds. Karate through center. Karate around Duffy. Karate high up off the glass and out of play. Karate flying, but Duffy did the job, AJ. Yeah, Duffy and Karate, uh, boy, that's a that's a good duo right there. Two of the probably the, the best players on, on both teams meeting each other on that occasion. Duffy with a good job. And we mentioned at the beginning of the game, Duffy's a very versatile player, the best all-around player on the Cape. He can play defense, he can play forward, and he can get your points. And who knows how good John Duffy would be if he hadn't had that early season injury and he has a flu tonight. He certainly would have been one of the top two or three players on the Cape this year, no doubt. Well, Michael, you were a hockey player. You know how long it, take it used to take you to get your skating legs. And plus having the flu tonight, and he's he's been out there for a good amount. 17 seconds left to go. Sandwich will have the power play for the remaining 17 seconds of this period. And, and this is this is what we call hockey's answer to the rain delay. Paul Gindomenico shifting players up and off the ice. He's trying to get Karate and Brady just a little bit more fresh air. Karate couldn't get it back, but Earl comes through and lifts it over Maloney. Kept in by Lachardi, seconds ticking away. Here's Brady with seven seconds. Brady, good play by Wilson. Here comes Chuck King down the side. Time will run out, though. Shot beyond Harrington and Bourne. Oh, I'll tell you, that Wilson made a heck of a play there to block Brady. So, we played two periods of play. The score is the same as it was after the first period. Bourne won, Sandwich won. And we'll come back right after this break with the third and final period of Canal Cup 1988. There's your score. You're watching High School Hockey on TV 58. Let's stick with them. Well, oh, you know, Sam. Okay, we're set for third period action here. TV 58's High School Hockey, Canal Cup 88. We're tied at one, 15 minutes of hockey left. Born against Sandwich. Born, we have their penalty unit out because Sandwich has a power play for the next 14 seconds. Steve Karate behind the net. Dowd in the corner for Sandwich, Dowd. Out front blocked by Wilson. Here's Karate into the corner. Three seconds, two seconds. Both teams back at full strength now. Wilson and Karate at a face-off just outside the Bourne line. And AJ, got to ask you, what's going to happen? You've seen two periods of hockey. Give me some... Uh, the you know what this reminds yeah, me let of? Let me go see your crystal ball. What's going to happen okay, here? Okay, here's the scenario. Sandwich is the Bruins, okay? <laughs> Bourne is Montreal. The game is in the Forum. And the Bruins have had seven or eight power play opportunities in a 1-1 game. And what always happens to the Bruins in Montreal when they have all those power plays? Somehow, some way, the Canadians pull it off. That's right. We will have to see. Sandwich had the definite edge in the second period. All those power plays. Bray with a shot. Maloney with that quick glove again with the save. Sivalinski kept in by Brady. Here comes. Four back. Cleared out to center. John Earl, though. Lachardi. Berger now with a burst of speed into the corner. Berger with a nice play. Berger to the backhander. No one there to collect. Dowd now for Sandwich. Dowd moving out of his zone. Dowd through center. Dowd going. Karate now couldn't collect. Fired back out into the Sandwich zone. Born changing up. Andy Lachardi. Lachardi. To center, broken up by Hankston. Hankston with a break. Hankston with a shot blocked out front. Duffy keeps it in. John Duffy with a shot. Well, why the Harrington? Trapania keeps it in. Jason Trapania with a quick shot. Save Harrington, and he ties it up. 
Good action here in the third period. Both teams coming out flying. Sandwich in the initial first minute and born here in the last couple of seconds. The faceoff will be to the left of Harrington. He's doing a good job tonight in that net, Michael. He's tied up all the loose pucks. I was just going to say that, all AJ. the important shots. Born, sandwich has given up a lot of goals this year, but tonight the Sandwich defense and goaltending has been excellent. McLaughlin up ahead. Sister Her broken up. In the slot of Sanita. A quick flick on Harrington. He holds on. And the thing about that, Michael, that statistic that we mentioned about the fact that there have been a lot of goals scored on Sandwich. They're going against a high-scoring team. Sandwich and Borna won two as far as goals scored on the Cape. So it's kind of surprising that the highest-scoring teams of the Cape are in a 1-1 game in the third period. Defensive battle so far. Chafee behind the net for Sandwich. Deneen doing some forechecking. Sivilinski now. Here comes Deneen. Derek Deneen goes to the backhander. Deneen! Up front and covered up by Harrington and the Sandwich defensive crew. Deneen battling again. He's so now back to Duffy with a shot just wide of Harrington. Stewart now. Stewart wheels it in. Deneen broke it up. Kept in by Stewart. Stewart a shot out front. Sivalensky with a shot out front. Sivalensky again. Harrington with a say. Whoa. Harrington came up big there. He did. Initially, he knocked the puck back into the slot. A dangerous play by Harrington, but on the rebound, he made the tough stop. He was down, and they shot it right into him, and he pounced on it to tie the puck up. And there'll be a face-off to the right of Harrington. Sandwich running around a little bit in their own zone on that last spurt. 12.59 left to go in this game. And Karate and Hopkins will take the draw. We're tied at one. Up ahead, Karate on the move. It's a set play, Mike. Here's Karate. Karate with a nice move. Karate to the back end. He scores! I mentioned it in the first period. So watch out for Karate on the face-off. Because what he does, and he does it when he's short-handed especially, on the face-off, you could see him go back and tell his defenseman. He will look at the situation and how the other team is setting up. Okay? Watch this. Here's, here's Karate coming in now on the backhander, and he beats Maloney. But Karate could see at the face-off, before the puck was dropped, how Bourne was setting up in the zone. And he noticed all the forwards were in tight. He went back to his defenseman and said, look, I'm going to win the face-off. You just throw it up the boards. I'm going to race down and get to the puck. That's exactly what he did. He did that last week to get a goal for Sandwich. Karate with his second goal of the game at 12.45. And Sandwich leads 2-1. Here's Hingston now. Up ahead. But here's Brady for Sandwich. Into Karate. Forget off the board. Kept in by Earl. Earl. Up front, Maloney couldn't handle that one. Cleared out, but kept in by Brady. Duke with a shot. Just wide of Maloney. Casey into the corner. Double 18s. King battles there. Stowe flicks it to the boards. Hinkson now fires it into his own head. Heads up down there. We'll have a face up. I talked about it, Michael, earlier in the game on that karate goal. And it's funny. I did a game with Jim McMorrow and WFAL a couple of weeks ago. Sandwich played Abington. And karate did the exact same thing. And I, I, was, I remember talking to Coach Jim McMorrow of Bourne, and he said, that's something we're going to have to watch for. He had his assistant coaches in the box, and he said to them, he says, we're going to have to watch out for that. And, and sure enough, it his, comes back to bite him. And his defenseman was here, AJ, a shot by Dalwell. Uh, but Karate got around Forget for the goal. Berger now in the corner. Coming up is McLaughlin. Cleared out to center ice. Here's McLaughlin for Sandwich. Offsides and for Steve Karate, that's his 229th career point. He's wow. now six behind the Cape Cod's all time leading scorer, Brian Ferrer of Falmouth, who finishes great high school career at Falmouth High School with 235 points. Does he have six points left at him uh, in this period, AJ? <laughs> He's capable of doing it, but it's, this is not the type of game. In the early Canal Cup years, you, you had a lot of three, four point uh, periods. But not, not this one. I, I'd be very surprised if this game opened up. Brady up ahead of Karate. Karate fires it high off the back of the Gallo Ice Arena for a faceoff with 11, almost 46 left. Almost broke the balloons up there. I don't know if he was aiming at the net or the balloons <laughs> tied up there on the rail. Bob Maloney's come up big tonight in that, but two steep Karate goals have given Sandwich a 2-1 lead now in the third period. Boy, well, Karate has logged some serious time out there tonight, though. Sure has. 
Here's Brady, who's also been out there a good part of this game. Sivilinski bounces it in on Harrington. Lachardi, Sivilinski checking him. Back out to Duffy. Duffy with a quick shot blocked by Brady. Here's Sivilinski wheeling. Sivilinski, oh, Deneen couldn't handle that puck. Down. And Stewart, Stewart out front, no one there. Sivilinski now for Bourne. There's paper on the ice. The referee should blow the whistle, I think. Paper in that corner. Gonna be trouble. Here's Deneen coming out. Deneen, it's tied up by Harrington. Will have a faceoff. I don't know, AJ, in that corner, if that's snow or that is papers. Well, there is paper. a large group of fans over in the corner there. And, uh, yeah, they're going over to pick it up now. They're going to do a little bit of house cleaning over there. I guess it is paper, and that could be dangerous. You have skater. to wonder now if the bug that has been going around to both teams plays a part in this game. Sandwich, for the most part, has gone with two lines tonight. Bourne has gone with three lines. But if you're sick, you're sick. It's going to wear you down no, many, no matter how many lines you have. A guy like Duffy's been out there a long time. Stewart, a lot of the key guys are, have got the bug. 11-12 left to go, third period at 2-1 sandwich. They also have the hockey bug though, Michael, and I think that's a little stronger than the other one. That's true, a great rivalry of these two towns meet. Sandwich holds a 4-1 lead in this rivalry in the Canal Cup. McLaughlin now starts out, out front could be dangerous. Out front is Hickston, he shoots. Another save by Harrington, oh, that was trouble. Good opportunity for Bourne. McLaughlin knows Harrington a uh, luncheon, or at least a TV dinner on that one. That can be a good play at times to take the puck up the middle because the side of the boards are congested, but not on that occasion, and not when you have a one-goal lead in the third period. Hickson with that good opportunity. He's on the faceoff with Sahura. Duffy keeps it in. McLaughlin fires it around for Chafee. Chucky King there for Bourne. King into the corner. Hinkston now. Hinkston hit by McLaughlin. Behind the net is Chafee. Gets by Stowe. 10.40 left in the game. Here comes Sandwich back. Kept in, though, by Hinkston. Hinkston with a nice move. Has King up ahead, but Chafee clears it back. Jason Trapani, shot. It's tipped. It's out front. And, oh, great chance for Chucky King. He couldn't find it. We got a whistle. And that was a 2-2 game right there, A.J., if King finds that puck. Kyle Chafee there, you see in your shot. He's played a good game for Sandwich tonight. This is perhaps the best game that I've ever seen him play. He's done a good job defensively back there for Sandwich. He tried for the safe play, flipping it up and out of the zone softly, but uh, one of the born defensemen reached up to grab it. But other than that, Chafee's done a, a very good job for Sandwich tonight. And he's been out there a long time, blocked well, a lot of minutes. Sandwich uses two sets of defense. And uh, yeah, <laughs> they're, seeing, they're logging some minutes as well. Brady clears up ahead, trying to hit Karate in another long touchdown pass. Lachardi out to Earl. Earl has Karate ahead of him. Earl into the zone. Earl still holding back to Karate, but Deneen's so good back checking. Couldn't hit Stewart. Brady for Sandwich back into the board zone. Referee helped out Sandwich here into the corner. Karate now and Wilson. Maloney in the corner out front. Oh, trouble. Maloney, coolly though, clears it back to the point. Brady with a quick shot. Once again, that quick glove, AJ. You're doing, Mal you're doing Maloney a, an awfully big favor when you shoot the puck up nice and high and he can just make that nonchalant stop. Brady has a good shot and he can get it up and he can get it down on the ice when he wants. And uh, by now, you, would figure, you, you might figure out that they know that, but they're still shooting it up around the glove and making it an easy stop for him. We see a shot of the referee, A.J. You made a good point. It's been a, a well ref game tonight so far. Jones now. Can't control the puck. Trepagne now for Bourne. Jason Trepagne out by center. Clears it in behind Harrington. Going in there is Derek Sevelinski. Also Bloomfield. Bourne with three forwards behind the net. And it's tied up. That was Chafee right there making the play behind the net. He knows it's the same philosophy that the goaltenders have in games like this. Don't throw the puck around on your own end. If you can take the face off, get it. Especially when you got that lead. <laughs> the rain delay working again <laughs> as Sandwich changing up at the very last moment. A 
I'll tell you, that used to drive opposing coaches crazy when I worked with Paul. Yeah, he, I've noticed that. He likes to make that last second change. Well, Jim McMorrow countering now. Slows the pace of the game down a little bit. You've got the lead. You're not terribly anxious to rush around. He doesn't want to make the kids feel like it's a quick pace out here. He's got the lead, and he just wants to slow things Thank down. Thank you, Joel. I think we won one change too many. I think we've got a penalty. Uh oh, I don't think the refs I, like that. Well, <laughs> the way the official came over, it's like <laughs> one change point, too many. Yeah. The ref said enough is enough. <laughs> See, the, by the rule book, you get two changes, but that was just a little too much. Yeah. Paul. Paul likes to wait till the last second. He doesn't get the final change here. He is not. He is not the home team. Sandwich is the away team, and Paul tried to make two change ups there, and he can't do it. And I think the official is explaining something to Jimmy McMorrow. Now I don't know why. I don't know why Bourne would have the questions. That was the correct call. They got the right to change up. Sandwich was denied, letting those guys out. Well, it slowed it down anyway. This is, can only be to the advantage of Sandwich, AJ. And we're back to action. Deneen now on the faceoff. Duffy moves in. Sivodinsky couldn't get that. Lost in his feet. Chafee, they do clear it. Sandwich does. Over to John Duffy. Duffy now. He has some skating. Here's John Duffy. Duffy with a nice move. Duffy! No penalty there. Casey skates away for Sandwich. Into the corner, Chafee, Sivodinsky on him, Mark Sivodinsky. Back around for Kyle Chafee. Chafee flips it high up and out to center ice to Casey. Chris Casey now, bangs into Duffy. Trepanier, Trepanier up to Sivodinsky. Here comes Tanin. Tanin, a two on one now. Derek Tanin into the zone. Tanin with a shot. Great save by Harrington. Oh my goodness, he came up with a big save. Karate will clear, get the icing, but Harrington, oh, has he played a whale of a game. Boy, he's trying to steal the MVP trophy tonight. He's come out of nowhere to play the best game of the season for Sandwich. He's made the big saves at the right time. Bourne has had a lot of pressure on him tonight. They've had a lot of good scoring opportunities, and Harrington has just denied them all night long, and he's tied up the loose rebounds. That is the big key. Sandwich goaltender's had a big game. Sandwich has given up almost five goals a game this year. Well, he's a senior, and the seniors usually come through in games like this. Hinkson and Karate. Karate comes away with it, but dumps it back to Brady. 8.32 left to go in this Canal Cup. 2-1 in favor of Sandwich. Two goals by Steve Karate, one by Brian Stewart. And that's been the difference. Out to Dowd. Wing to wing pass, Dowd. Fires it right in front of Maloney. Could have been trouble. Forget around the net. Here comes... Born back, a hit from behind, no call to here comes Bourne. Hickston now. Hickston. Hickston in the middle. Hickston. Just wide. Had King with him. Stowe now into the corner. Stowe broken up by Lacharty. Lacharty can't find the puck. Goes behind his net. With 750 left. Down to Earl. Earl up to Karate. Karate. Makes the move around Hickston. Here comes Karate. Up ahead to Dowd. Too far for Dowd into Robbie Wilson. 7.40 left to go. Wilson broken up. Out to center ice to Duke Brady. Over to Andy Lacharty. Lacharty the long shot in on Maloney. Both teams change up. Here comes Boer back. Maloney got Bourget. away with that. Bourget, nice out to Chucky King. King into the zone. King into Bourget. Bourget out front. Cleared away by Lacharty. John Earl. Earl broken up, and here comes Sandwich back. Sullivan now. Sullivan going. Sullivan into Karate. The King is here for Bourne. King with a nice move. King wants a whistle. He's a little tired out there. King gets banged by Sullivan, and he does get his whistle with seven minutes left, third period. 2-1, Sandwich over Bourne. Both teams will take that face off. Bourne was looking for it, as you can see the defenseman tying it up in the corner. Sandwich has no problems taking a face off in the Bourne zone with a one goal lead here, seven minutes to go in the contest. This is the second line unit now coming out for Sandwich. They played very well tonight. You won't see their names in the score sheet tomorrow, but so far tonight, they've given Coach Paul Ginomenico a good effort. They've kept one off the board. Casey now clears it out. Here's a break for Stewart. Brian Stewart moving down. 
Stewart to the back header. Save. Simulinski shot. Oh, cleared away out front. Now Stewart he's again. Hurt. Oh, the net's off. That's a penalty. That would be a delay there. Well, his goalie's hurt on the ice. That's why he blew the whistle. Harrington is down. They're going to call Chafee for delay a game. But actually, the referees should have probably called that earlier. Oh, a great chance for Brian Stewart as Paul Giannomenico rushes out to his two sandwich players are hurt. I don't Let's know if we'll the get... replay, AJ. Yeah, I don't know if we'll can. get a look at this one again or not, but that was just a massive, massive collision in front of that net. Goal 10. Here's a replay, AJ. Okay, let's Stewart watch it now. Look at Stewart. He's in real tight on the goal line, and he does similar to what Karate did earlier. Harrington with a back save. And he comes out on top. Now, does Sandwich touch the puck? They do. They should have blown the whistle right there when Harrington's hurt, but they didn't. Watch Chafee right there. Bang. Knocks the net off the pins. Yes, it's a penalty for delay of the game, but yes, the whistle should have been blown because Harrington was hurt on the ice, and Sandwich did have the puck. Yeah, well, we'll see. We, we don't know if Chafee knocked that net off because he saw Harrington or because he saw the puck coming Well, he knew that there was an empty net. Don't forget, Chafee used to be a goaltender in soccer. He knows <laughs> what it's like to stand back there in front of a goal. His goaltender was down on the ice. That was, I'm not so sure that wasn't a good play. If Harrington stays hurt on the ice and they still don't blow the whistle, Bourne has the puck. They have an empty net to shoot the puck into. So I'm not, I don't think that's that bad of a penalty to take, even though technically... There could have been reasons for not calling it, but he did knock the pin off, or the net off its pins on purpose. In the rule book, that's a penalty. You've got to call it. And plus, there was a board player standing out front, and one more player is down. It looks like it's McLaughlin, number 15, Kevin McLaughlin. And I don't know if see him get up a little bit then. He's played a fine game time, a lot of ice time. McLaughlin has had some knee problems in the last couple of years with Sandwich. He's sort of a player that never really lived up to some of his potential. He's got some great skills. He's a good skater. He's got a heavy shot. He's a big key on that sandwich power play. If you let him get the puck back there, he can rifle it right by you. But he has had injury problems, and that is what I think has perhaps slowed him down, or slowed his progress down over the years. He's a very good player, a good kid, and he works hard. Well, as we see Kev McLaughlin, we're hoping uh, for the best for him, and it's a good opportunity now for, for us to take a break. With 6.45 left to go in this third period, Canal Cup 1988, the score, Sandwich 2 at Bourne 1. We'll take a break. We'll be right back. You're watching High School Hockey on TV 58. are on the power play for the next one minute and 30 seconds and there is 6.45 left to go in this game and this could be the key one minute in the game right here. I mean, Bourne, this might be their last man at, uh, one man advantage of the game, AJ, and if you're coach Jim McMorrow, they gotta come through now. I think it was a good penalty for Chafee to take. Even though it was flagrant, he got his team out of trouble. Brady now behind the net, Brady. Fires it up along the boards. Karate can't keep it in. Here's Deneen. Couldn't handle it, but Duffy into the corner. Duffy up for a shot to go by Derek Deneen. He ties it at two. Clearing pass Kane from out of the corner. Harrington tried to make the initial stop on the pass coming out of the corner. Couldn't catch up with it. Deneen's been playing well for Bourne in the last half of the season. He's been one of their top players. And when you're in five feet on the net like that, you can't miss. And he just blew it right by Harrington. We've got a 2-2 game. Let's look at it again here on the replay, Michael. Here's the pass. See Harrington reaching for it? That essentially takes him out of the play when he tried to poke the puck away. His body was stretched out for the puck, and when he missed it, he was frozen. He had nowhere to go. Deneen just blew it right by him. Time of the goal, 6 minutes, 35 seconds. Hey, John Duffy made a big play in that. That was a power play goal. Duffy went from his defensive position into the corner and fed it out front to need the goal we're tied at two here's duffy now again duffy a brand new ball game tied at two behind the net stone now for Bourne. here's earl earl for sandwich up ahead karate with the puck here's steve karate now karate putting on the jets good play by duffy here comes duffy back brady hits him 
Dow back now for Sandwich. Oh, a heavy hit at center. And oh, I think we should have a, we have a whistle here. A sandwich player is down. It looks like that might be Dowd. Charlie Horse City for Tommy Dowd on that one. He took the hit right along the side of the leg. He took a good belt. If Coach Paul G Gian Domenico is out there, he's gonna be telling the refs, uh, hey, what are they doing to my players out here, I think? Oh, uh, it's good clean hockey, though, wasn't it? Oh, I agree, but I'm, I saw the hands oh, up yeah. in the air. <laughs> but hey, that's with an Al McGuire type thing. You know, you complain to the refs, and maybe they'll give you an edge. But uh, it He's looked okay. like just a collision at center ice. Well, this has been a great game, though. It's lived up to the billing that this game receives every year. Five forty-nine left. A terrific game. Both teams giving it their all in this sixth Canal Cup. Let's remember last year, Michael, it was a two-two game going into the third period, very late. When Sandwich got a goal with about three and a half minutes to go, they end up winning the game four-two. See if that happens again now. But here's Sevanenski for Born. Mark Sevanenski, a big shot. Oh, just wide. That was labeled for the outside corner. Was it ever? Deneen brought it up by Karate. Karate. To the backhander. Karate still going. Set by Maloney, and he wants to tie it up. Oh, great job by Steve Karate. What an effort by Stephen Karate. He wanted goal number three of the night. We would have given his team the lead and himself the hat trick. Maloney with the nice play. Karate tried to stuff it or hope for the deflection in front. And Maloney wisely tied it up. We'll have a face off to the left of Maloney. 5.30 to go in the game, and we're not at a two. Karate wins the draw. Puck is low. Here's Duffy back for board. John Duffy through center ice. Duffy up ahead to Stewart. Here's Osivanetsky. Oh, it's an offside. I think, AJ, with five minutes left, we can expect to see a lot of Duffy, Sivanetsky, Deneen, Stewart for Bourne, and Karate and Brady for Sandwich. Yeah, I'd say that's a pretty good bet, Michael, if you had to make it. <laughs> <laughs> but you and I don't bet on anything anyway, right? No, no, no. <laughs> it's just for fun, just like those football things that they pass out. You for know. entertainment purposes yes. only. Remember that. I never do get to read that back portion of those <laughs> things. There's Steve Karate. Berger now for Sandwich. John Earl with the puck. 5-10 left to go. We're tied at two. Duffy now. Duffy with the puck. Duffy with a nice move, but Brady comes back for Sandwich. Jason Trapani. Trapani with the puck. Trapani into the zone. Broken up. Duke Brady now. Up ahead, kept in by Trapani. Trapani tipped in front and cleared away by Lachardi. Sivalinski knocks it back in. Behind the net is Berger. Berger with the puck. Brady comes back to save that one. Trapani, though, will keep it in for Bourne. Trapani! Oh, my goodness, where did that go? Brady had that in his shirt, I think, and back to Dowd. Karate is striking, and this will be icing. With 4.32 left to go, we're tied at two in the third period. Someone's asking OT, AJ. Uh, I think now's the time where high school hockey, it'd be great to have OT in the Canal Cup. Yeah, it would be nice. You know something? There is a rule where if the teams agree upon it, you can play overtime. Paul Giannomenico, tried to get it for this game specifically a couple of years ago. I remember talking to him about it, but uh, the other team or the other school did not want to have an overtime game. Back to the point of Wilson. Wilson with a shot. Did he try to tip it? Stewart behind the net out front. Did he couldn't handle that one? Forget now. Forget shot. Tip. Oh, just wide. Chafee fired that one away. Derek Denis has been flying tonight. Loses though to Sahara. Kept in though by Sevanenski. Sevanenski to Denis. Shot it wide. Porsche winds up, fires it in behind the net. Derek Deneen now for Bourne. Deneen moving. Deneen back to Wilson. Wilson with a shot. Stopped by Chapey in a nice play, but kept in by Severinsky. Severinsky bag Casey. Here comes Chapey back, though. Chasey up ahead of Sahura. It's a one-on-two for Sahura. Into Chapey, though. Chapey still with the puck. Kyle Chapey still has the puck in his own zone. Oh, and a big hit by Forge. Up front, the backhander, Chapey. Stopped by Maloney. And we have a whistle up front. Heavy action with 341. Kyle Chapey was almost one of the, going to be go down as one of the great heroes of Canal Cup action if he had ever put that one in. Chapey's played a great game tonight for Sandwich. 
the defenseman decided to go on the offensive on that one. 3.41 to go in the game. Chafee went up and over on that. That was a good hip check. The faceoff comes left. outside the blue line, and I don't know why. You think I, I'm, I'm supposed the, to. I'm looking at the exits, AJ. I just don't see anyone leaving. I can't imagine why. Yeah, and I don't see anybody sitting down either. <laughs> About 1,100 to 1,200 here at the Gallo Ice Arena. And here we once go with again, this. we have uh, musical chairs going on by both coaches. It's the stall routine. <laughs> Gina Menico doesn't mind talking to the officials about it. It's just more time than he can give Karate and Brady a little more rest. He wants to talk See, to he's the bringing them back. <laughs> well, you can hear the other ref. We had a mic down by the box. The other ref is telling him to get the program going. Although, that's a... Although, you know, a timeout now by Sandwich... So Sandwich has had about three. <laughs> Boy, I'll tell you, hey, if it works for Paul, why not? That's what I say. I think that's a good chance for us to take a timeout. We'll take a break with 3.41 left to go in the third period. A Canal Cup 88, the score, tied at two. Sandwich and Bourne tied at two. You're watching high school hockey on TV 58. <laughs> Domenico could probably be a great basketball coach using that clock. <laughs> Here's Hinkston now for Bourne. Hinkston with a shot just wide of Harrington. Lachardi off the boards to Casey. Here comes to her back for Sandwich. He fires it in. We're going to have an icing here with 325 left in AJ. This is the sixth Canal Cup. None of the previous five have ended in a tie. Sandwich winning four of them, Bourne winning one of them. That could prove to be a costly mistake made there by Eric Stahore. He had plenty of ice in front of him, and he elected to dump the puck in. He was a good five or six feet behind that red line. The faceoff comes back out of the sandwich zone, right to the right of Harrington. Here's Hinkson on the draw. Back to Duffy. Duffy in. Blocked by Stahore. Duke Brady now. Brady fires up in. Broken up by Duffy. Duffy with some skating room. A score! John Duffy! Makes it 3-2 in favor of Bourne. Brady tried for the long clearing pass up the boards. He was trying for one of his own players, but he didn't see Duffy behind him. And when his player stepped out of the way, there was a white shirt there. It had the number nine on it, and it was Duffy. And as he got some big goals in his career in this Canal Cup game. There's the shot, ripped right by Harrington. Now it is a 3-2 game. And that icing call against Sandwich comes back to haunt them. Sure does, A.J. And interesting enough that the only other time the Bourne has won a Canal Cup game, John Duffy got the game winner in that one nothing game two years ago. Steve Karate out now. And I would think we'd see him out there for the final three minutes and 13 seconds of this game. Here's Karate back. Sivolinski on him. I mean, they're going to have a they're going to have an armed guard on Karate now. I think Bourne is. Duffy fires it over to Stewart. Stewart up ahead, broken up by Chafee. Chafee with a nice move. Clears the zone and out through center ice. Here comes Chafee. Chafee and a big hit by Trepanya. Whoa, did I hear that. And we do have a penalty. It's going to be on Bourne. They were shadowing Karate, but instead of shadowing, shadowing him, they tackled him. They just didn't want Karate to have anything to do with that play. And now... Bourne is going to be in the penalty box. This is the game, folks, right here, as far as Sandwich is concerned. They'll have a minute and a half power play. Sivalinski gets the penalty, and there it is. He's right on the ice. There's a big clear, there's a cleared off spot in the slot that's about four or five feet wide, and that's where Karate landed. One now, minute and 30 seconds. All right, here's a tactic as the goalies come out. Now, this is a new rule where you're allowed to warm up your goaltenders. <laughs> I tell but you, this Paul Gia, this is, I mean, he, I think that he should write a book on how to uh, preserve some time here. He already has. <laughs> you're seeing it right here. This is just the, uh, the movie version of the book, Michael. <laughs> now, what they will do is after the play resumes, they've got 30 seconds or so to warm up the goalie. The goalie will stay in the net. 
They'll drop the puck, they'll play the game, and then on the next whistle, Harrington goes back into the net. I'll tell you, this is great coaching by Paul. We got two fine coaches here, but I've never seen anyone work the clock like Paul Giannominico. Well, he knows that if he's gonna get back into this game, he's gonna have to do it with either Karate or Brady. And he wants to keep Karate's legs as fresh as he can. Now, what this does is that gives him Karate a little rest because don't forget, he was out there for about 40 seconds before that penalty occurred when he was tackled down to the ice. So what this does is it gets Karate back onto the bench, gives him a rest, gets Karate back out there with another minute and a half to go. And you gotta figure, if they can't get back into this game in the next minute and a half, then perhaps they don't deserve to. And this is where Coach Giannomenico knows it's either right here or probably never. I mean, I think Paul would be a great baseball coach too. You know the way they walk slowly out to the mound and then slowly back again. What did I tell you? I call him hockey's answer to the rain delay. <laughs> There's your score. Well, actually, it's 3-2 now in favor of Bourne on that John Duffy goal. So the faceoff will come down in the Bourne zone, and if there is another whistle, Harrington will go back into the net. Goaltender, by the way, is Stephen Davis for Sandwich. And Coach Paul Giannominico talking to both refs. This Coach Jim McMorrow. Uh, he'll talk. That's Jimmy McMorrow, the head coach at Bourne. You, he's going crazy because he knows exactly what Gina is <laughs> doing. But what is he going to do? Well, he does have the lead, though. That makes life well, a little makes bit easier it, for you, Jim. Exactly. And see Gina Minico arguing with the officials right there. Okay, we've got a. We've just been informed that a protest is is uh, just been applied here. I was just going to mention, Michael Davis played in the JV game, so now. Because he played in the JV game, he is supposed to be ineligible to play in the varsity game. Now, this is going to, going to get interesting. Technically, they've already taken the time out to warm him up. But if Bourne was smart, they would have let him play. They would have let the time tick down on the clock because he would have actually played. He hasn't played a second yet, technically. And I don't know if this will ever have anything to do with the outcome. But I would have let Davis play the five or ten seconds and then I would have registered the complaint. Very interesting, AJ. We'll have to see what happens. No matter what happens, Sandwich <laughs> and Coach Paul Giannominico got what he wanted. That's about a five-minute rest for Steve Karate, Duke Brady, and his other uh, players who will be out in the power play. McLaughlin back. That's good to see that he's all right. But Bourne, one thing about Bourne, AJ, they've been on the... Uh, penalty well, killing unit all night long so this is uh, nothing for them let's remember something else here michael for as many minutes of rest this gets karate and brady it gets the guys like duffy and stewart the same amount of time so i mean you could talk about who's got the advantage on this but uh, it works both ways but i'll tell you who wanted it more than uh, the other guys and that was sandwich so we'll have to see what happens now as far as some sort of a protest being lodged that's what we heard up here in the the press box one of the officials Although, is down AJ, at... I have seen uh, JV players play varsity games. Maybe it's three periods. You can have yeah, three you, periods. Yeah, you can't play... I should know this rule. Um, you cannot play, I think, more than one period in a JV game and then come into the varsity game. That's the way the rule used to be a while ago. You see the official over talking to the scorekeepers, discussing it right now. Well, what they've done is they've registered the complaint by Bourne It'll be reviewed later if it means anything. And it, it does mean something to Bourne. If they're looking to get points to get into, you know, to get a better seating in the tournament, then they've got a beef. But, um, hey, this is, Paul doesn't care right now. He's got all the time he needed to rest karate. Guarantee you, he will not come off the ice the rest of this game. Well, I'll tell you, AJ, this reminds me a lot of a basketball game where the last two or three minutes seem to take uh, an hour. And you need a 30-second clock to get the <laughs> face-offs going. <laughs> Well, Bourne has their players out. Sandwich players are still resting up, and uh, referees now confirmed with Coach Paul Giannominico. Uh, they could be talking about anything from a, uh, a rain delay to AJ's red hair. I don't know yeah. what they're talking well, about. Well, I'll no. tell you one thing. It's a good thing that we don't have a curfew like they have down in Maryland where you can't <laughs> play baseball after midnight because we'd be in some serious <laughs> trouble. I'm supposed to go skiing. You know, I'm going on vacation, Mike, and Paul's <laughs> doing this to me. This isn't very nice. The snow is melting. <laughs> I think it'll be springtime, AJ, before you get up there. 
Now, Coach Jim McMorrow wants well, to Well, they ought to get the show going here. Enough is enough. I think they've exchanged phone numbers and a few other things here in the last five See, minutes. They want to sell all the pizza in the concession stand. And, uh, well, they better not do that. I haven't had any yet. <laughs> it looks like we're set to go after that long delay. And the way it stands, with 2.48 left to go third period, Bourne up 3-2, but Sandwich has the power play, and we've yet to have the players face off. There's still some... Just good thing discussions going on. I guess it's going down to the board bench now. Good thing this is a town rink, Michael, and not a state rink, because the game would have been over in the second period. They wouldn't have come out and made ice for them. Yeah, it looks like there's some guys who play in the men's league are banging on the windows. They want to get out here. They have the ice here in, uh, 15 minutes ago, I think. No, they had it. They had it an hour and a half ago, <laughs> I think. This has been a long game. And now, this is, I mean, a, a protest is a protest. You. Do you have to have it interpreted 12 different ways? I don't know, but it, apparently it has to be because uh, we've had the longest delay in high school hockey history. <laughs> We're talking now with Coach Jim McMorrow. Well, let's set the board penalty killing unit for you now. John Duffy will be out there. Jason Trepanier will be out. It looks like uh, Doug Berger and looks like Hinkson will be out there for Bourne. Bill Hinkson, yes, will be out there. And for Sandwich, looks like it's going to be Dowd, Lachardi, McLaughlin, Karate, and Brady. Look at this. Davis is coming back into the game. They've withdrawn the, the protest. So, uh, boy, see, I think Davis should get some more. <laughs> I think she should get some more practice. Oh, yeah. Us. Oh, he's cold. Get the pucks out of the, the ice and warm him up again. All right. Dowd on the faceoff. And it's cleared, but stopped by Brady. Brady into Lachardi. Lachardi fires him into the zone. Trepania now. He will fire it down by Brady and down to Davis. Davis has yet to register a save. He could have get into the record books with that one. Look at it. Right on the net and it almost went in there. Duffy now broke it up. Here comes Dowd. Leaves it for Karate with one minute left to go on the sandwich power play. Here's Steve Karate. Karate back to Brady. Brady but fired up by Hingston. Sandwich will have to go back and regroup. It's it's see that delay is seen to have benefited Bourne, AJ. Karate now will take it. 45 seconds left, and here comes Steve Karate. Karate with a big shot. Oh, it just, just went off the glove of Maloney. And oh, that was close. That one did get the balloon up there. He broke a balloon <laughs> on that. I don't know if you could hear it or not, but <laughs> broke a balloon as the fuck went off of Maloney's glove. Yeah, Maloney's grabbing his. Hand saying, I don't want to do that again. Faceoff will be inside the Bourne zone. 37 seconds to go on the sandwich power play. 155 in this game. Bourne still has a timeout remaining. Sandwich has already used theirs up. I think they've used theirs up for next year, too, H. <laughs> Dowd on the faceoff with Hinkston. Dodd and Hinkston battling. Still loose, and it's cleared nicely by Trepanier. Dodd and Harrington is in the goal now. Off to Duke Brady. Here comes Duke back. Duke up ahead to Karate down the left side. Karate makes his move around Trapania. Steve Karate broke it up. 20 seconds left to go. Back to McLaughlin. Over to Brady. Has some open eyes. A shot. A goal! Duke Brady ties it at three. Duke wow. Brady ties it at three from McLaughlin with 133 left to go. You know what happened on that, Michael? One of the board defensemen in the goaltender were looking off at Karate, who was hiding over on the boards. They know how they work the power play. Look at McLaughlin right here at the left point. Karate will slide over on the left side. The puck comes back to Brady. They think Karate's coming out of the corner. That allows Brady to walk it in 10 feet. And we talked about that shot he has. He just let it go, and Maloney didn't have a prayer. You can see Karate coming out of the play. They were waiting for the pass to come back to Karate, and Brady caught him off guard. Time of the goal, one minute, 33 seconds. Brady from McLaughlin. <laughs> There's some more delays. Here is Jim McMorrow. We get a shot of Jim. Jim, Jim McMorrow wants a delay of the game penalty based Jim on the celebration after the goal. That's what he's looking for. Tied at two. Harrington back in net for Sandwich. Here's Chafee. And here's Karate with the puck. 
He has two tonight. Going down to a minute left to go. Tarati now. Deep karate through center. Oh, and a heavy hit for karate. Oh, he gets a hit from Bourget. Puck is down, and we're going to have a whistle and a face-off. A little bumping with 1.08 left to go. Brady, the game-tying goal. And it's funny that uh, I talked to uh, your good friend, Jim Horvath at WFAL, and I said to him, I said, I think the two key players in this period is going to be Duffy and Brady. I hope Jim remembers that. Because <laughs> I don't well, make my predictions. I never I'll tell you something else. Brady has to feel a lot better about that goal because his pass coming out of the zone was the one that was intercepted by Duffy to go for the go-ahead goal. So a lot of weight taken off the shoulders of Brady, who has played a good game. Sandwich with the puck. Dumps it in the board zone. One minute left to go in this game. We're tied at three. Here comes Stewart. Broken up by Earl. It's kept in. Here's Karate. Tim Karate with a shot and a save by Maloney. Whoops, sticks are high, but Maloney with a save with 52 seconds left. Maloney played a good game. This has been a great hockey game really has face off will be inside the Bourne zone now Bourne still has a timeout here I don't know if they're going to elect to use it here or not Duffy has been out on the ice for a while as has Karate and Brady Duffy now looking for the downtown touchdown pass couldn't find him for Bourne and we have an icing we understand according to to Bob Silva, the crack uh, reporter for the Cape Cod Times. This game is being played under protest. Face off will come. Face off will come to the left of Maloney. Well, we, we got understand, AJ, is this, it was going to be played under protest, but it, the protest was taken off because they didn't want the Sandwich goaltenders to rest. I'm surprised Bourne doesn't take a timeout here. They've had this group on the ice for a long time. AJ, I'll tell you, you are. <laughs> any other predictions you have for me tonight, or what? Who's well, going to win the World Series? This I got you in the. I got you in the Super Bowl, didn't I? I tell I'll you. make it. How about while well, you talk about predictions, uh, how's the USA team going to do in the uh, Olympics? I have to underway? say this because I am an American and I do root for the American team, but I would have to say that I don't think USA is going to win a medal. Well, on my vacation, Michael, I'm going back up to New Hampshire. I'm going to sit in the same place where I watched a game eight years ago when the Americans beat the Russians. Same spot. Hey, if I they have... let me in there. I hope for the best because uh, Cape Cod does have a player on that team, Alan Vorbo, whose Falmouth lives in, uh, whose uh, parents live in Falmouth, went to uh, Harvard University, so he'll be playing. So Cape Codders do have someone to root for. There's goes Paul Giannomenico. His team has 47 seconds left. Jim McMorrow's team has 47 seconds left. A Canal Cup has never ended in a tie, but there's a first time for everything, AJ. Well, Duffy and Karate and Brady and Stewart are on the ice, so. And how about that guy, Dave Hackler, has been wanting to get on camera yeah. for about two years. He's looking forward to watching the Lakers lose later this afternoon against the Celtics. He's a big <laughs> Lakers fan. I'm amazed we put him on TV. <laughs> and that was an unselfish act by cameraman Pat Geiler, who decided not to be on camera himself, but give the honor to Dave Hackler. Both of them have done a great job tonight. 47 seconds left, tied at three. Karate on the faceoff. This will be his last game at Sandwich High School. Puck is loose. Here comes Severinsky up ahead for Stewart. Brian Stewart into the zone. And a whistle. whistle. Faceoff will come outside of the blue line. 39 seconds to go in the game. Steve Karate, 229 points unofficially in his high school career. The second all-time Cape Cod High School Hockey scoring leader. Up to Karate again. Karate into the zone. Gets a little bump by the official. Kept in by Brady. Brady up front. Oh, the Charlie was there. That could have been dangerous. 23 seconds left. Here is Stewart. Brady now. Brady up ahead to Lachardi. Lachardi over to Dowd. And a whistle. Matching penalties. Well, why not? We've had a number of penalties. Two more uh, with 13 seconds left. I think this can only uh, be the advantage of Sandwich, AJ. Give Karate some skating room. Does open the ice up a little bit here with 13 seconds to go in the game. Great opportunity for Lachardi, who's into the penalty box now. He along but with you Chabot. know why that opportunity came? Because Bourne was so worried about Stephen Karate that they had three guys on him. If you remember the play, not only was Lachardi open, Sandwich had another winger that was behind the play on the right side. There were two guys behind the play in the offensive zone. 
and that's because of Karate's presence on the ice. Berger into the corner with nine seconds left. Berger, Karate behind the net, this could do it. Five seconds, four, and this game will end in a tie. Justice prevails. This was a great hockey game, and I don't think either team deserved to lose this game. Both teams pick up a point in the final score. Four and three and sandwich three. As you see, Coach Paul Giondomenico, who, if he hasn't written the book, I think he's going to put the final chapter in how to use the clock. Well, I don't know why they're going off the ice. They do have a, a ceremony that they use here at the end of the game. And Coach Jim McMorrow is sending his team off the ice. Well, I don't know if this has anything to do with the, uh, the forfeit that was registered and then taken away, but... Uh, we see Coach Paul Giondomenico, and I don't think he's asking the ref what he's doing afterwards if he wants to go for a pizza, AJ. Uh, just well, a crazy third period. Uh, I'll tell you what. It's a good thing we got this on tape because people are not going to believe this game. What a wild, wild third period. There's your final, there's your final score, 3-3 tie, the first tie in the six-year history of the Canal Cup. And we'll come back to wrap it up. You're watching High School Hockey on TV 58. For top quality tree care at competitive prices, call the tree people. Allen B. Tree has been caring for trees and shrubs on Cape Cod and surrounding areas since 1954. Allen B. staff is fully insured. They're licensed, mass certified arborists and experts in all aspects of tree care, from pruning, feeding, and disease control to tree moving and tree and stump removal. Join their growing list of satisfied customers. Whatever your tree care needs, call the tree people, Allen B. Tree, your professional tree care specialist. Remember, your trees deserve the best care. Allen B. Tree Care. We said this game was over a 3-3 tie, but we were mistaken because we are going into overtime, A.J. Dolan. Now, this is the first time this game has gone into overtime, but as we said in the third period, if both coaches choose to or elect to have the game to be an overtime game, if it goes to a tie, they can do it, and that's there what is, they've decided. There is a rule in the MIA handbook that says it's up to the league to decide if that particular league wants to play overtime hockey. In this case, the rink is owned by the town. <laughs> you know, nobody's got the ice tonight. And this is the only game that they would have agreed to play overtime on because they are from two different leagues. And I mentioned it during the course of the game, and uh, I will say that perhaps I should have done a little bit of homework on my part. But I remember as an assistant coach with Sandwich for a couple of years talking with Paul Ginomenico, they wanted to make the rule where you could play overtime if it got to the point of a game where, you know, it was a tie. And at one point in the, in the discussions of making up that decision, it was determined that they didn't want to do it that way. I don't think Bourne wanted to do it that way because I know Paul G. Domenico wanted to at Sandwich. But uh, I'm a little bit surprised here. I, I was not aware that this game would go into overtime. And I'll tell you what, I'm, I'd be very surprised if it's not the first time it's happened during regular season in high school hockey, unless, of course, they did it way back when. But uh, I've never seen one during the regular season. And I've uh, never heard of one. I think one of the most exciting overtimes in sport, you have your basketball, you have your football, but a hockey overtime, one goal does it. Wow. It's one of the most exciting moments in sport. Uh, th there's a win-lose situation here. Both teams have played a great game. They could leave the ice right now and not feel bad about having a 3-3 tie. You know what they say about kissing your sister and the ties and all that? Nobody likes the tie. But this first three periods was a great hockey game, and neither team would feel bad if they walked out of here with only a point. Now, there's one team that's gonna go home feeling great, and another one's gonna go off the ice with their heads bowed. Now, you I know, thought I saw both teams going off the ice. I thought they didn't want to shake hands or anything, but I should have known better. These two teams uh, get along with each other, even, even in the heat of the game like this. You know, a funny sight that we can't see with our cameras, but Jason Trapagne forgot his stick in the locker room, and he uh, had to wait to get someone over the door. <laughs> That could have been trouble. He's back on the ice, and Bourne is set to go against Sandwich. Ten-minute overtime period. And we still got the matching penalties, which will make it four on four. Ten-minute overtime. The first overtime in the Canal Cup. Sivalinski now. Bangs it in to the zone. Here's Karate. Four on four. Has some skating room. 
Karanik broken up by Deneen. Deneen's played an excellent game tonight for the Canalman. He's shadowing Karate. McLaughlin now behind his own net. One minute left to go in the four and four situation. Here's Dowd. Dowd up ahead of Karate. Just too far for Steve Karate. Broken up by Stewart. Kept in by McLaughlin. A shot behind Maloney. Sivodinsky into the corner. Sivodinsky up. Back though to Chafee. Chafee out to McLaughlin. McLaughlin with a shot just wide. Out kept in by Karate. Karate blocked by Duffy. 35 seconds left in the two-man, or the four-on-four. Four. Maloney ties it up for the whistle. 31 seconds left. A lot of open ice, A.G. And it's the sandwich's advantage because Karate's the best open ice player in this game. And Duffy, if Duffy was at full strength, uh, he would also be a great open ice player. I was player. just going to say, you could tell John Duffy is just exhausted. He, he's barely getting back over the boards. He's played a lot of time tonight. He's coming off of an injury, and he also has the flu. Both teams with their second line on. Here's Robbie Wilson. Wilson through center. In on Harrington. McLaughlin there. McLaughlin Hinkston on him. Hinkston's been hustling tonight. Battling in the corner. No whistle. Here comes Earl back. Earl does clear the zone. Stowe all over him. Leaves it off for Chafee. Chafee into the zone. Chafee with a nice move. Chafee. Oh, he fans on that shot. He's played a super game. Wilson now tries to clear. Back to Earl. Earl with a shot behind Maloney. And here's King out on the ice. Looks like oh, there's five men on the ice. Oh, both teams of full strength. King fires it into McLaughlin. McLaughlin now has Karate. Karate at center ice. In ahead to Hinkston. Hinkston clears it into the fans in the lower mezzanine. And we'll have a face on with 8.21 left to go in this overtime. Boy. <laughs> I'll tell you, I've enjoyed this game an awful lot. Good up and down action. A lot of coaching strategies in this game from both teams. We've had a protest. We've had a protest filed and taken back and everything. 8.21 left to go in this overtime. We're tied at three. Canal Cup, 88. Duke Brady, Duffy four checking. Kept dead by the official. But Dowd comes away with it. Here's Dowd. Has Karate streak, but Dowd will take it. Over to Earl. Earl. In the point zone, but Trevania has it. Out to Lachardi. Charty back to Duke Brady, who tied this game at three. John Duffy out to Sivodinsky. Duke Brady there, but he has to wait till his player clears his own. Brady with a nice move. Dowd clears it in. 7.44 left to go in the overtime. Out to Stewart, though, kept in by Earl. Earl into Karate. Karate back to Earl. Earl with a shot. Oh, that went in the net, but uh, hand pass maybe by Karate. Yeah, Karate got caught there. He tried to be a little bit sneaky. A little crafty over there trying to get the puck back, but the referee was right on top of it. He made the appropriate call. AJ, we've had a lot of penalties called in this game. I wouldn't uh, think there'd be maybe too many in an overtime period. They got a lot of play. You would think. You would think. The only... I don't think you're going to hear a whistle here, unless it's icing on our side. 7.35 left to go. Here's Tahura. Bourget bumps him off. Dash in on the play. There's a the Hopwood. Almost had a break there. Chafee. Chafee heads up into the bench and gives a question is teams to change lines. Question is, I wonder if these teams get any over, uh, timeouts in overtime. Interesting thought. I know that is done elsewhere, but don't know if they've agreed on that. Hopwood out there with Sahara. Hopwood moves away. Duffy and Trepani out. Reborn kept in by Duffy. Flicks it in to Chucky King. In on Harrington, and he'll hold on. Hopwood on his doorstep. 7-16 left in the OT as King King and Casey, they're both 18s. I think uh, one wants the other shirt, AJ, I think. Face-off will be to the right of Harrington. Both goaltenders have done an outstanding job here tonight, both making key saves. They're tying up loose rebounds. And Coach John Domenico sticks with his second line. Chafee tries to clear, and it does. Casey comes out with it. Casey, broken up by Duffy. Kept in, though, by Besh. Nice play by Besh. 
and delayed offside, broken up, Stahura. Clears it in, here's Stahura again, kept in, Stahura with a shot, and Maloney with a magic glove, picks it up. They were looking for offside on that play, Michael, but it wasn't, and I'll tell you why. A born player brought it back in. The player was offside. If a sandwich player had brought the puck back into the zone, the whistle would have blown. The born players, when they saw Stahura come over the blue line, a couple of them stopped waiting for the whistle. But the rule is if they take it back in with them, play continues. That could have been a dangerous play for the Canalman. Sandwich now with the karate line out. Dowd into the corner. Karate now back to Brady. Brady fires it into the corner. Earl there. Earl broken up by Stewart. Stewart with a big move, but Brady catches up. Stewart slides. Severinsky there, but we got it offside. Stewart with one goal in the game so far, and uh, there's tension in the air here at the Gallo Ice Arena, AJ. I don't think the fans have seen an overtime game involving uh, either of these two teams in a long time. Well, the last one I can remember from Sandwich's standpoint against was Hanover. Hanover when they won in the state tournament. They beat them 4-3, to three. and Kurt Stahora got that goal, and his brother's on the ice. Earl with a shot, kicked away by Maloney. Sivodinsky clears it back to center to Duke Brady. Brady waits to clear. In the Dow, Dow with a shot. Oh, kicked away by Maloney, and that was tricky. Partially screened. Dow's played a good game. Well, Dow, as we mentioned at the beginning of the game, Michael has been missing from Sandwich most of the season. He's a talented player. He just wasn't eligible to play because of grades. But he's back and he's looking sharp here. Bourne decided to change up their line, but Sandwich keeps well. Sandwich makes a change also. There's a play he's taking it in the born zone and walking around the man and just as I say that they take him off the ice. Here's Casey. Casey broken up. Casey broken up and here is a break now for Bourne. Here's King. King moving down. King shoots off the side of the net. He had stone on the right side. Duffy can't keep it in. With 6.05 left to go. John Duffy. Duffy with the move. Duffy into the sandwich. Oh Duffy with a shot blocked by Brady. Here's Hinkston. Broken up by Casey. Casey. Up ahead, Stahura. And Casey fires it in. The second line has done a good job for Sandwich. Hankston back. Sandwich changes up his line. The karate line on now. Up ahead. Here comes Bourne. Broken up, though. Delayed offside. Karate on the move. Karate around Sivodinsky. Steve Karate. Karate still going. Tripped up. No call. Duffy now will clear it back to center and no icing. Five, we're, gonna let him, we're gonna let him play. 525 left to go in overtime. That is right in overtime. And we'll have a face off down towards the born end. And AJ, I think high school hockey should be sided by overtime. I love games decided in the OT. I mean, baseball does it, uh, yeah, basketball problem, does it. The problem is in baseball and basketball, you play in your own buildings. When you play in the hockey rink, you, somebody else is usually paying the bills. Good point, and as many times people have the ice right after you. Exactly. Your game. Wilson broke it up. Here's Dowd. Dowd moving in. Back to Dowd. Chafee comes in, makes the move. Chafee out to Dineen, though. Derek Dineen down the middle. Dineen with Severinsky. Derek Dineen! Side by Harrington. No goal. No goal. Does that remind you of the Providence Sound game, AJ? <laughs> sure does, Michael. The game against Providence Sound, for those of the, our viewers who didn't get to see it, Providence Sound had a 7-2 lead left in the game we did a couple of weeks ago. 7-2 with five minutes to go. Bristol Plymouth came back, made it 7-6, and the tying goal with 10 seconds to go in the game was scored when the net was off of its pin. I don't think they'll ever forget that one up there in Provincetown. And Mike Seller, a super goalie this year for Pete Todd. But it's, it's, like a, it's like I said several times, you have a five-goal lead with five minutes to go in the game. You can't blame the net or the ref. <laughs> the sandwich needs one more player out there. Brady on the draw. Duke Brady comes up to make the play. Brady now. Broken up by Deneen, who's played a super game. Derek Deneen with the Jets. Deneen into the sandwich zone. He's broken up, and here's Steve Karate. Karate out to Casey. Casey now misses it, flicks it up ahead. Broken up. Here comes Trapania back. Jason Trapania. Trapania with a shot and kicked away by Harrington. 4.35 left to go in overtime. 
Sandwich trying to get out of their zone. Scoops it up. Oh, and Severinsky couldn't come up with that one. Karate's doing a lot of floating, AJ. Could see a breakaway here. Brady kicks it up ahead. Duke Brady. Brady into the zone. And it's broken up here. Strapanya back for Bourne. With 4.15 left to go in the overtime. Off to Duke Brady now. Brady setting up. Looking for number 12, I think. Finds Casey, though. Here's Casey. Casey up ahead. Broken up by Deneen. Karate now fires it back into the Bourne zone. Trapania for Bourne. Who hits Earl. Prevents the icing. Duffy now. Duffy with some moves. Duffy broken up. Here comes Chafee. Chafee into the zone. Offsides with 3.41 left to go in overtime. Again, Sandwich will take that whistle. Gives Karate a little more time to sit on the bench and catch his breath. Chafee's played a great game tonight. Best game I've ever seen him play in a Sandwich High School uniform. And he's, he's done something that he hasn't, he hasn't done in the past couple of years, and that's bring the puck up ice. He's gotten involved with the offense a lot more. He's done a very good job. You know, Paul Giamenico, he's waiting again to get that fifth player on the ice. It's amazing. These athletes have not played this much hockey in any game this year. This is the only overtime game this year. Here's Hickston now. Hickston on a break. Hickston with a nice move. Broken up, though, by Laughlin. McLaughlin, but here's Shapey back. One on three. Shapey into the zone. Sat upon by Forget. Shapey hits one of the board players out front, but this might be an icing. No icing. Sahara. Sahara behind his own net. King in on him. Up ahead, broken up, Forget a shot from the point well wide. Here's Wilson now, Wilson with some skating room. Sahara in there, back to Chafee. Players, it's amazing the stamina in these players. They've played a lot of hockey tonight. They're very tired though, you can tell both sides are just dragging a little bit here in OT. Bourne plays three lines, that could help them out. Here's Besh, clears it down, and this will be, a no icing wave up. With 2.40 left to go in overtime, tied at three. Earl with a steal. Earl fires wide. Karate now into the corner. Karate back to the point to McLaughlin. McLaughlin with a shot. Kicked away out front. Stewart, McLaughlin keeps it in. Another shot out front. A quick side. Karate couldn't find it. A shot. Oh, kick wide. Karate with a shot. Just wide. Wilson with a big save. Here's Earl. Earl back to McLaughlin. Into Earl. Looking for Brady. There's Brady. Brady with a quick shot just wide. In front. A shot. And oh, Maloney with the big save. Oh, my goodness. Whoa. What a game. Wow. Bob Maloney was looking straight into the eyes, into an overtime defeat, and somehow he snatched away. Whoa, that puck. Man. He's alone in the middle of the Pacific, and he's got a shark sitting in his gold crease with the name Karate on the back of his jersey. Karate into the e, two of the stars of tonight's game on the draw. Karate loses it, but gets it back, though. McLaughlin with the shot, kept wide. Duffy around the boards, out to Stewart. Here comes Deneen back. He has Sivodensky on the left. Here's Deneen. Offside, and it hit the ball. Oh, would that have been a dramatic play? Whew. Goodness, AJ, we've done a lot of games on TV 58. We've done some great football games, basketball games, and hockey games. I don't know if any can beat this one. An overtime Man. game at Canal Cup? I'll tell you, I'm glad I'm not on that sandwich bench like I used to be. I think I would have pulled out every single red hair out of my head. I think you would have got a penalty, a bench penalty anyway, in this overtime if you're still out there. Karate will get off the ice, and so I, won't Brady. I probably would have lost my voice so they wouldn't have heard me. 1.51 left to go. Both teams have their second lines out there. Berger, no, actually, Bourne has their third line out. But Duffy and Trapanier are still out there, and that's a key for Bourne. And there's Duffy. Back to Duffy. Watch out for him. In front, Bloomfield couldn't collect it. And Sahara tries to clear, and he does. 1.30 left to go in this overtime. They're just going to let him play. That should have been a penalty, but you can't call that in overtime. Here's McLaughlin. McLaughlin ragging the puck. McLaughlin settled by Bloomfield. Up front, a shot. Oh, and a great save. Duffy, the shot. A great save by McLaughlin. Oh, another.
another shot. Bloomfield with a turnaround blocking it. Oh, my goodness. JP does the smart thing and clears it down with oh, one minute man. left to go in overtime. Goodness, we have a game here. Duffy winding up the karate line back. Karate breaks up. Here's Steve Karate now with one minute left. His last game as a high school senior. Cleared in, and this will be icing with 46 seconds left. And oh, my goodness. You can see Paul Jaminico on the bench. He doesn't like the call. He doesn't think that the icing should come back down to the sandwich end. I'll tell you, AJ, Bourne had their chances with a minute left. But well, somehow, was... Sandwich kept that puck out of the net. Oh, boy. 45 seconds left in this overtime. Deneen and Karate in the draw. Deneen has Duffy in perfect position right behind him. Watch the faceoff. If Karate wins it, he'll draw it back, and he'll be off and running to the races. Deneen and Karate, a key faceoff. 3-3 three, three tie in overtime. Kicked away to Karate. He can't keep it. Oh, a whistle. Offside, AJ? I don't know if that hit somebody on the bench. Could have been. Couldn't see from the position that we're in the press box. Faceoff is inside the zone, so I think it did hit a player on the sandwich bench. The key. Over. Draw again, but Bourne keeps it in. Back to Duke Brady. Brady can't clear. Hits Severinsky. Severinsky goes to the forehand. He shoots. Blocked nicely. Earl clears it behind for Duke Brady. 25 seconds left to go. Back to center ice. Trapania tries to clear, and, and offsides, offside, with 19 seconds left in overtime. Whoa. AJ, I think well, you got to keep yourself under control up here. You coached for Sandwich last year, not this year. <laughs> I just think it's been a great game. Can't get them any better than this. Absolutely. I don't think they're going to be able to fit any people in this building next year after this one. Anybody who missed this one is kicking themselves about it if they see it or read about it. Karate and Deneen. One by Bourne and here's Stewart. Brady now. Brady looking for number 12. Karate, but that's broken up by Trapania. Trapania with a shot. Saved by Harrington with six seconds left. Chafee behind the net. Two, one. The buzzer goes. And let's hold on here. I think the players are going to the locker room. We're here until there's a winner, AJ. Don't go away. We got more hockey to go here at the Canal Cup. We'll take a break to get our breath here, and I think the players need a little bit of a break. Here's your score after one overtime. 3-3, three, three, sandwich born, and we'll have to see. Well, let's hold it right here if we can. Let's go to, let's hold it right here. That is it. That is it. That is the game. We're glad we didn't take a break. We thought there might be one more overtime, but a fitting way to end this game. And H8, this will go down as a classic. Both teams are tired, disappointed. But I'll tell you, they can take some solace in the fact that they played in one of the most exciting games in the last couple of years in Cape Cod the Islands. This was just a great hockey game here tonight at the Gallo Ice Arena. I'll tell you, we spent all week talking about it on TV. You hear about it on the radio. You read about it in the papers, what this game means and how important it is to both teams as they line up for the handshakes. Now, Bourne AJ will be back in the ice, but for Sandwich and their seniors, this is it, and especially Steve Karate, who finishes his high school career, seven great years for Sandwich High School, with unofficially 229 points, the second all-time leading scorer in Cape Cod schoolboy history, and this has been some great hockey players, and he finishes six points behind the great one from Thelmuth. Brian Pereira and H.A. I think people are, they're just standing around. They don't know if they should leave or uh, do they want to, they want to savor this moment. Well, they can't believe what they just watched. That's why. Everybody's still stunned a little bit. It was a great hockey game. I've never seen a game like this. The, the uh, people from the Gallo Ice Arena have the Zamboni ready. They want to get on the ice, but the players are staying around. They, they can't believe it's over. They just played 55 minutes of hockey and 55 minutes of great hockey. We'll take a break now. The, we do have a final now. Yes, the final. Sandwich three, born three. We'll come right back to wrap it up. You're watching High School Hockey on TV 58. To everything. 
I'm Red Perry from Kilo Radio in Colorado. You know, the Vietnam War era produced some of the greatest songs ever recorded. Timeless songs with a universal message for all generations. Well, finally, there's an album that represents the best from that era, and it's called Freedom Rock. Just listen. Great hits by Deep Purple, Leonard Skinner, Jethro Tull, Spirit, Ten Years After, and the Moody Blues. Altogether, Freedom Rock contains 40 hits by the original artist on four stereo records. Here's more. Go ahead and hate your neighbor. Go ahead and cheat friend. The ink is black. records or three cassettes only 1995 two CDs only 2495 here's how to order credit card and COD customers call toll free 1-800-328-7500 or save COD fees by sending 1995 for four records or three cassette tapes or 2495 for two compact discs plus three dollars shipping and handling to Freedom Rock PO Box 2495 Hyannis Massachusetts Back again at the Ghetto Ice Arena, A.J. Dolan. We saw a super game. It ended in a 3-3 tie after a 10-minute overtime. The most valuable player from Sandwich High School finishing his high school career, Steve Karate, with two goals tonight. And the most valuable player from Bourne High School did a great job on the Nets, as did Jack Harrington, but the MVP from Bourne, Bob Maloney. A.J., a super game and uh, really one of the, the best high school games I've seen as far as intensity and length anyway and uh just the excitement of these two towns meeting each other and to do it in an overtime fashion it's super that's what the idea of the canal cup was from the very beginning michael fantastic game both teams had a number of players that's, that were standouts there were a lot of potential mvps duffy played a great game for Bourne, considering he's coming back from injury he was under the you know he had the bug i thought stewart played well for Bourne. Deneen had an outstanding game. He's really come on here in the late part of the season for Bourne. The sandwich, of course, karate. Grady showed a lot of character. He made the errand pass on the go-ahead goal in the third period. He came back and got the equalizer late in the third period. Kyle Chafee, I thought, played his best game defensively that I've ever seen him play for sandwich. But the quiet hero has to be Harrington. Uh, the co sandwich goaltenders have both had a tough year. Harrington, especially in that overtime, I mean, how many times did he come up with great saves, as did Maloney, with two-on-ones and loose pucks in front of the net? They both just kept doing it all game. We could go on and on. There are a lot of kids that played really great tonight, and I can't wait till the Canal Cup in 1989. Super game, 55 minutes of hockey, and both teams played well. Bourne, we wish them the best in the high school tournament. They'll be going on, and best of luck to them. Sandwich finishes the year, just a super season, and one final note of... Uh, just a, a super career by Steve Karate. We mentioned him all night, but yeah. you don't get to see many players like that often well, on Cape Cod. 229 career points. He was a varsity hockey player for six years since the seventh grade. He'll be missed when you watch Sandwich High School in the future. I've been coaching Steven since uh, he was, uh, I think, a, a squirt. I worked with him in youth hockey, and it's uh, nice to see him progress, and I'm sure he'll do well uh, when he graduates this year and whether he goes to prep school or to college or whether he plays baseball or hockey he'll do well and best of luck to the board team in the tournament go get him the canalman a great game tonight by sandwich and board the final again and we special thanks to everyone here the final three two three three sandwich and board special thanks to our whole crew who worked overtime and aj Dolan, a great job tonight and all our camera people and everyone in the truck and thanks to everyone at tv 8 58 the final score it was a good one. In overtime, Sandwich 3, Born 3. This was high school hockey on TV 58.